I want to play some modern. That's all I want to do. Not that complicated. Not complicated at all. Hang out with some friends, battle some magic. Really not that complicated. Something's happening. Twitch is saying that I'm live. That's a positive. Oh my god, I hear myself. I think we did it. Can anybody hear me? Oh my god, I hear myself. You hear fans? That's not good. Alright, how do we turn down the fan noise? So many screaming fans. Not like, we're talking fan blades, correct? My fan's not going. Germag, you're alright. I thought about trying it. What's up, drummer legend? Alright, Aber, what do you recommend for these screaming fans? Where, where do you believe the source of these fans is at? Is it my computer? Oh! Holy crap, I wonder if my mic's picking up the fan from the bathroom, because I just got out of the shower. Oh, one second. Jason's probably using more than was. One second, be careful. Alright. I have no idea what it's on. I know what you're hearing, though. That's absurd. I have the light on. Maybe it's just the... This is getting crazy. This is too difficult. Too difficult, I tell you. Too difficult. Alright, close that all the way. Close that all the way. Alright, I still see the light coming through in the background. Ooh, I saw my CFB shirt. That shirt's gas. <laughs> Fujo, yeah. Not standard. Has to be great. I was watching coverage this morning. Did not look fantastic. Oh yeah, Scooter, I am... I am not techno technologically proficient. Alright, is the fan noise still there? Aber, is that still there? I don't know if it is. Technically, we're a technology company. Like, we make a video game. I'm literally a designer on a video game, so technically I work at a tech company, I guess. Yeah? Okay. Um. Oh, God, no. I, I have taken two computer programming classes. I was very, very bad at it. <coughs> lower the mic sensitivity, so lower the gain. Assume left is lower. Um, I have the pattern set to the heart on the back of the microphone. Maybe it's because I turned the mic volume up over here really high. Maybe that's better. Let me know if that's better. Please save us from fidget spinners. <coughs> doing well, Molly. How you doing? Um. T good line. I wasn't a big fan of it. I think the card's perfectly acceptable. I just found it like pretty narrow. Like if you want to be burn, I think that card does do it. As much as I don't want to say it. All right, seems better. We'll start with seems better, and if we can improve it later, we'll improve it later. 
Um, this is the list if I had to play the Grand Prix tomorrow in Vegas, I would play. Um, how do I do a straw poll, Aber? Ooh, Aber, do I have any opinions about Legacy? Um, I would play something with Cabal Therapy. I like, I like discard spells a lot. As much as I don't like them in Modern for whatever reason, I like discard a lot. Um, I'm kind of a terrorist. Ooh, straw poll created. There we go. We're doing it. All right. Opinion one. Yeah, who needs opinions? Um, how do I make this? Where's the edit button? Oh, create a poll. Yeah, this is so easy. Type your question here. Which version of Grixis should we crush with? First. JVP? No JVP. Um, great poll. Bam. Oh man, look at that. Now we're straw poll masters too. We are just crushing it. Collective Brutality is medium, Vextra. It is medium. Grixis Delver. Grixis Delver is like lame. Who wants to attack with creatures? What's up, Midian? Thanks for following. I love the little zombie that comes up. I've got the whole monitor thing set up again. It's been a while since I've done this. I do want to find a better spot for the webcam, considering, like, trying to find a way to put it on my second monitor over here. Um, I don't want to, like, get you guys all motion sickness and try to, like, move it around the room and show you what's going on over here. Um, but I would prefer it if I were looking this way and I was looking also at the camera, which is over here to the right of my computer. So that needs to change a little bit, be better, but... <laughs> Scooter. All right, yeah, good, good question, Flo. So basically, this Jason's Prodigy version. What we're trying to do is basically be like a tap out control deck. Basically, the way this was described first is like this is like blue jund, if you want to call it that. Um, and the way that we're going to play out is we're going to try to trade resources with our opponent. We're going to try to leverage a spot where we can either get one of our seven planeswalkers going between Jace Friends Prodigy and Liliana the Veil. And we're just going to try to, like, card quality our opponent out of the game. Where we are similar to a death, uh, death Shadow deck where we have a low curve. And we also have the ability to basically play fewer lands. Like, a Jun deck plays 24, 25. We have access to Serum Vision, Thought Scour, and Jace Friends Prodigy. That can all cantrip us into other cards. And the nice thing about Jace is it also allows us to play... <coughs> pardon my cough, sorry. Um, an extra land or two that... So we do hit our land drops on time to get up to three. But also then we can loot the extra ones away. We can also play situational cards. Um, I tend to not play counter spells in these versions, but I will usually sideboard them. Um, out of, you know, just sheer necessity of... Sometimes you can't thought see the top of the library. Uh, Pemmin, I think it is. I think the matchup's really close. Um, I wish somebody on my team wanted to sit down for five hours and grind the matchup, but I also don't expect anybody on my team to do that. <coughs> um, so I won't really ask my teammates to do that, to say, hey, I need you to waste a weekend and just jam Grixis Shadow games against me to see if Grixis Control is better than Grixis Shadow. Um, but... That's sort of the style of deck. This deck, we're just going to be tapping out, playing to the board as best we can, playing around our opponent's threats, trying to run them out of resources, and then try to say, we're the best top decking deck in modern, and we're going to prove it to you by Snapcaster, Jace, Lily, K-Command, Tassiger. Um, the bad top decks here are the four discard spells, but the reason why we play four rather than eight or six, like I guess if you want to count uh, some of the Jund or Abzan variants, is that we have so many different ways to flash them back that all we really need to do is find one between all of our blue cantrip spells that between Jace and Snapcaster and K-Command to get those back, we can play them pretty effectively, or we can use Lily or Jace to get rid of them. Whereas this version of the deck, this is the deck that you've probably seen me play a lot more with if you've ever watched one of my streams or watched me play at a Grand Prix, I think this is personally the better version of the deck. Um, part of the reason why I rebuilt the Jace Friends Prodigy version is that the Counters Companies deck started picking up, and I really wanted to make sure I had enough creature removal. The Jace Friends Prodigy versions are much better against decks that play to the board, decks that are trying to win on the stack, or trying to win through 
some method that you don't really interact with, um, the Jace Prodigy version is just going to struggle with as it just doesn't have counter spells. Like, literally just saying that, no, you're not allowed to do that thing is a much more effective answer than me trying to terminate or lightning bolt or however I'm planning on interacting. Um, fatal push. Things of that nature. So this deck's a little more interactive, less ways to win the game, so it has to be a little bit more conservative about when it starts putting its threats on the table. Um, and one of the big sort of payoffs for this deck is Ancestral Vision rather than Jace Friends Prodigy. So rather than playing a bunch of very cheap, very interactive spells, this deck is going to try to trade in the early game, take over the Ancestral Visions, and then grind its opponent out with Snapcaster and Tassiger rather than using Planeswalkers. So the Jace Friends Prodigy version of the deck is going to be much better against, uh, you know, your sort of Zoo, your Bant Nightfalls, your Dredges. Um, I guess it's worse against Dredge in game one, unfortunately, but better in games two and three. Um, better against Counters Company, against Elves. However, it's going to be much worse against things like Eldrazi Tron, like uh, Scape Shift, uh, Storm. So there's definitely some trade-offs there. I think the Jace Friends Prodigy version is... Worse in game ones against Death Shadow, but better in the post board games. <laughs> SIW, I literally saw you ask that question and immediately started transitioning there. So I think if you want the version that's going to be better against the the Death Shadow decks in game one, you want this version of Grixis, where Ancestral just basically wins the game on the spot. And it's very difficult when they have a full set of Street Race in their list for them to protect their life total. Once they are able to sideboard and cut their sort of weak cards, like their extra pieces of removal, and move more into just like a cheap fish deck, essentially, that's when the games become a lot tougher. Excuse me, and Grixis, you basically kind of need to steal one of the games where they miss on a turn. Uh, whereas the Jason Prodigy games, like, you're perfectly fine grinding into turn 15 with them. Um, the, bi the biggest problem for the Jace Prince Prodigy version is just not letting them resolve the Liliana the Last Hope. All right. Time to start catching up here at chat. <coughs> yeah, Wujo. Last Hope would be kind of sweet with Jace. Um, I was playing 4k commands when I rebuilt the deck the first time. And I think you could certainly still play 4. Uh, yeah, so... Sorry, Pam, I eventually got there. Um, damn, the, the sideboarded Spell Snare in the JVP version is mostly for catching things like Snapcaster Mages, Goblin Electromancer, Slash Brawl. Um, it can also catch cards like Farseek, like Sakura Tribe Elder. Um, like, there, there are definitely decks where it's going to be pretty obvious. My opponent has 12 2 mana spells in their deck. I'm going to bring it in. Um, it, it's unfortunately never going to be the all star that it is in the other version, where the other version of the deck just relies so much on holding its mana up. Like, if you look at the Jace Friends Prodigy version, we want to tap out on 2 for a Jace. We want to tap out on 3 for a Liliana. The problem is, is that's when people are casting their 2 mana spells. So it's a much better card in the draw. <laughs> What's up, Martin? I'm going to hope that's actually you, and I'm just going to mod you. And if it's not you, well, whatever. You can harass me on Facebook later. <laughs> we have a modern team meeting here? Oh, dude, I hope we're having a modern team meeting. This is, this is my new squad. The 85 other people in chat, Martin, are my squad. What is Jace Prodigy? Some kind of random Pegasus? Yes, yeah, see, see, I mean, I kind of treat it that way. This is... Oh, come back, JVP. This is kind of my boy. Like... I don't know. I just really adore this card. This card's really great. What's your sideboard plan again? Chris Shadow with the Ancestral version. So with the Ancestral version, uh, my current sideboarding plan is just to cut two Cryptic Commands, and what I'm bringing in is a Fatal Push and a Damnation, usually. The big reason for the Damnation is that Especially when you're on the draw, the board will likely spiral out of control at some point, um, where they get one or two delve threats out. Um, and if you can sort of leverage fighting your terminates on end step to try to get them to stubborn denial to lead into a damnation, that's the best plan for you to to take over the game. <coughs> Sorry, and get their giant monsters out of the way, because they can't really win the game unless they have one of those giant, you know, either Tassiger or Gurmag Angle or those cards on the board. You're not really going to lose the Snapcaster battles all that often, as their counter spells don't fight your creatures very effectively. However, they do fight your counter spells very effectively. So if you fall behind on the board, the games get a lot more difficult. Um, Flow. I don't think it's the most important card. It's a card that's like pretty good against the linear deck. So if you run up against um, Affinity, it's 
probably at its best there. Um, it's good against, like, Merfolk, Slivers. Like, the problem is it's never as efficient. Like, I found that this is just a pretty piss-poor card if you're going to try to blow up enchantments. Like, the biggest enchantment that we care about, I guess, is, like, Blood Moon. The problem is you're just not realistically ever blowing up a Blood Moon, because the people putting Blood Moon in their deck aren't playing fair games of Magic. Like, people playing Blood Moon are, like, Storm, Ponga, um, some sort of stupid Sim and Spirit Guide deck. Like, anybody that's putting Sim and Spirit Guide in their deck, like, EE is just not going to be realistic. I think EE is probably the card that's, like, least likely exists in the deck at Vegas. Mostly it's just a... And it's an expensive catch-all. Um, I guess one of the other matchups you'd really want it against, however, is like Lantern. Martin, I did say Slivers. I did run into Slivers last week. <laughs> I don't usually bring an E against Death Shadow unless it is the Abzan version that will also have Lingering Souls. Um, I was bringing in it originally, and I found the card to just be mostly ineffective. But the reason why I like it against the Abzan versions in particular is a lot of the Abzan versions have still been bringing in uh, Green White 3 2, Revolt put a 2 CMC card back. Remember the name of a second. Renegade Rallyer. Uh, they've been bringing in Renegade Rallyers against me, and it's been good at fighting Renegade Rallyer as well as Lingering Souls. But even against the Abzan versions, like, I'm already. Like, we don't want to play limited tournaments. We're off limited tournaments. Um. Like, we're bringing in a Sadcaster there. <coughs> oh yeah, Lattice. We're very favored in that matchup. The fact that we draw a ton of cards in instant speed is just, like, really, really tilting to them. Yeah, Wujo, the, the nice thing about the E is that, you know, part of the color pie is, you know, some colors are good against things and some car colors aren't. Um, particularly, black and red do not interact with enchantments once they're on the battlefield. Red doesn't interact with them at all. Uh, black only interacts with them through discard usually, and blue really only interacts with them by temporary means, by bouncing them and or countering them. Uh, countering them is, you know, our most effective uh, way of dealing with it, but if we don't do deal with it that way, it's, it's somewhat somewhat troubling. Alright, let's find out straw poll-wise who won here. Oh, I guess I have a vote? Oh, no, I can just hit the results button. I put JVP question mark, apparently. All right, JVP version of it wins. All right, the stream is spoken. Modern JVP, first up on the docket. Um, I think we went 3-2 with it last time. Yeah, we went 3-2 with it last time. So, knock on wood that we will do a little bit better today. So, my current plan is I'll probably stream until about 6 or 7. Um, I'd like to get a league in with both as, I don't know, it's been a little while. Hopefully y'all hopefully all missed me. Uh, drummer, the best way to beat the Blood Moon decks, it depends on the version. Um, with the the version that we're about to be playing, the Jace from Prodigy version, uh, it's Hope and Pray. You don't really deal well with it. Um, the best way, I would say, is getting Liliana the Veil out there. Um, and just beating them that way, or just getting some creature out there. You're trying to punch them to death. Uh, Alting Jace is actually pretty reliable there. What's up, Bolt up top? Let's fight. Ooh, JVP, you're in. Kappa Sneepo. Um, with the Counterspell version, you can usually try to fight a game where if at any point they try to tap out for it, you're threatening to slam like multiple spells back in their face. Um, this hand does want to develop a Creeping Tarpon on one. Also has a crap ton of lands. This would get me to two cards into the graveyard. If I slam a, steam, a uh, fetch land, I can get to five pretty effectively. So I'm going to go get a Steam Vents here on turn one, actually. What's up, Mush? How you been, man? Alright, Sarah Visions, don't draw us a land. Oh, you did exactly what I didn't want you to do. It's not not very nice. Alright, we'll take this fatal push. <coughs> Thought I hit F6. Apparently I hit F7. Yeah, Tron is pretty bad for both versions. Alright, Botanical Sanctum. I have no idea what this is. I would assume... Alright, I did not assume Band Spirits. But it looks that Bant Spirits is an option. Uh, Alright, so we bought him to card. I don't really want to shuffle my library. I'm not very likely to flip my Jace on the next turn unless I want to go fetch first, then Fatal Push, then potentially flash back a spell, which is very likely to be my line. 
Um, given that I may want to double push on the next turn, probably going to lead on this Water Grave here and potentially shock myself an additional time with the Scalding Tarn for the other Water Grave. Um, trying to think of there's a reason I've double red rather than double blue. <laughs> hmm, there might be. You will see that I am not 100% attuned with this list, so there might just be fetching mistakes. And if there are, oh well. Corey probably too smart to play standard. Um, malicious, I didn't go to Omaha mostly because I didn't want to. Um, I'm not someone that's going to sit there and bash people for their decisions. I'm um, just not the biggest fan of the current standard environment, and I'd rather be kicking it at home sometimes. <laughs> Path to Exile, that's rude, dude. <laughs> what a rude dude. Oh man, look at that. Look at that casual great fetching. Alright, let's kill us while we can't. Play standardized spirits against us. Trying to figure out if I want to put a Scalding Tarn out there, though I could play like a Drog Skull or something. I think I just kill it at a later time, just play a Tap Land. <laughs> Alright, so I assume this matchup is a creature matchup, but is like probably better for the other version of Grixis. Is the biggest card here is just Collected Company. <laughs> just the number of Collected Companies they draw just alters the matchup pretty drastically. It's a good draw. Would like to draw Liliana the Veil. That would be a nice one. Um, Malicious, the next Grand Prix I'm going to is going to be Grand Prix Vegas, and then I'll be going to Cleveland the week after. <coughs> um, current plan is just to play Modern in Vegas. I might also play the Limited one. I think my plan is to get in. What in the world? My opponent shocked themselves. Are they just running out of spell caller? Huh. Well. Uh, and then after that, playing Cleveland with Martin Yuzin, Shuei Nakamura. We're going to win a Team Limited Grand Prix. And then after that, I'm not playing any more Grand Prix until the next season starts, as I'm pretty far away from Platinum and Locked Gold already. But i got to get Martin qualified for Worlds. All right, this is a weird spot. I think I'm just going to let this happen. I don't really want to push this. It feels really bad. It just feels so bad to push this. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here. My opponent's more likely to get impatient than I am, I think. So Merfolk Looter is better than VVJ's. Uh, some days. Merfolk Looter does have one power. A <laughs> serious <Seriously. laughs> No, man, you should know better. Martin, it's you and uh, Shuhei, dude. Oh yeah, that, that team is Gas Station. <laughs> we'll fix my race for Platinum. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna win the Modern Grand Prix and then, guys, the Saint Trav. Ooh, I'm really bad against that card. Okie dokie then. Uh, well, time to draw Liliana. Time to draw Liliana. Get that out of our deck. Push this. I don't think any reason, real reason to K command. Alright, can we get a Lily? Any Lilies ever? Lightning Bolt. That's sort of like a Liliana. It doesn't look like a Liliana, but it's like a Liliana. I can assure you of that. Opponent, leave me alone. Just take your turn. Maybe he doesn't have another removal spell and you get to block. I mean, that's what I'm doing this turn. It sucks, but that that is my current plan. <laughs> I'm planning to go to seven and put my creeping tarpon in the graveyard. I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but it's the best plan I have, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my chance to do it. 
Uh, da, 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 sure. <coughs> Float of green. Are right, we casting collected company in response to me adding money to my tarp? Is that what's happening here? Sure. That's bad. That's also bad. Some of these things are bad. What do you think the odds are if I bolt my opponent's self spare that they sacrifice it? My guess is 50-50. What's up, Danny? How are you guys, man? Figured it out. What a lucker. What a lucker. Alright, I don't want to block there, I'll get a 5. Alright, Lily. Fatal push. Um, well. Alright, let's do this. I guess I should play my island first. This and this. Blow up their thing. We'll animate our tar pit, go to block, and then we'll fatal push the angel if we have to. They discarded for us. That's not good for us either. Guys are saying, Trev, you're such a jerk. Why you gotta kill me like that? Alright, I can beat a noble. What is this? Oh, I can't beat that too. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was a reason to not kill her guy. Getting punished. Exactly what I deserve. That's good. Um, it's like a block of the creeping tar pit. Can't unfortunately float a block through the stage where it would die. So I can just jump and go to one. That's an angel. Alright, alright, alright. I done fucked up. You win. I don't think it would have mattered, but... Knowing I fucked up's bad. Alright, alright, alright. Some solid play on my behalf. Oh, Danny, we don't have cryptic commands in this version. Ooh. I'm being confirmed great. That is... You better watch yourself, Martin. That is loose. Confirmed great. You can't just confirm greatness. I could be just a giant schmuck bag. That's not true. But I could be. Push after you... Yeah, Quentin, if we could float a mana through the combat damage stage, we could do that. Or the phase, excuse me, we could do that. The problem is we have to use our two water graves and our blood crypt to animate the tar pit. And... Wait, what? Holy crap. Wait, what? Alright, sorry about that. I don't really know what just happened. Alright, well we want these and the dispels. Don't want the discards, I'd rather just be tapping out. Um, let's get a serum visions out of here, screw it.
All right, let's go get him. Yeah, the, the mana falls out of our pool, unfortunately. Sorry, I got... Something more pressing to do there. Uh, delicious, I'm not. I'm going to be working those days. Uh, actual work work. <coughs> Alright, so they top their card. How lucky. How lucky. Alright, so this looks like a normal Grixis hand, except for we have a Damnation. Uh, current plan is we'll probably get a Blood Crypt and a Watery Grave as our lands. That way we can Bolt Push Damnation. <coughs> this looks like to be a, a Bolt Target. Yeah, we could do that to the Angel. The problem is we're not killing the Geist, though, because it's going to get a uh, plus one, plus one, because it's a spirit from Jerkbag McGee, the Drug Skull Captain. So it'll be a 3-3, three, three, and it'll also get plus one, plus one from uh, the Exalted Trigger from the Noble. Um, I think Fatal Push is worse than Lightning Bolt. <coughs> from my minimal experience playing this matchup. Uh, gonna use Scalding Turn here to get Steam Vents, that way I can fetch a basic swamp in case I draw Anger. Ooh, no white source. I'm gonna assume they have a white source because they kept their card. Alright, so we're just gonna slam Task for the Lightning Bolt up now, it's gonna be great. <coughs> assume I don't get Shadowy Doubted here, I guess. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Again, sorry about the cough, guys. I've had this cough for like three weeks now. It just does not want to die. Ooh, we'll slam this visions. Alright, so I'm gonna go to like zero life or something. Some horrible number that nobody wants to have. Uh, we're gonna end up holding up steam vents here. So we'll serum with this. No slam tasigoyf. Fatal push and a bolt. I definitely don't need the push. Do want the bolt? Eh. Not really, I think I can find better spells than the Bolt. I would also accept a land. And I don't think I want any of these, right? I guess maybe I want the push. Yeah, we can leave the push, I guess. That's fine. Alright, push, you can stay. As much as I hate you. <coughs> yeah, Bolt does seem bad, I agree. I agree. What's up, Aisha? Oh my god, they got me. 2-1 flash. You did it. God, I hope they just play a Drog Skull thing and hit me for 3. That'd make me really happy. Oh, Akira. Alright, I'm less happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to damnation this board yet, either. Hmm. So I could bolt it and then K command? Good bolted in the K command. That doesn't seem that horrible. Uh, of course, leading if we do that, we would lead on bolt because we need to get the shield off of it. So this is legendary, right? Yeah, I should probably do that while they have no mana up. That seems somewhat important to do. Alright, let's see. Is there any reason to get a third blue here? I don't think there is. I think there's a reason for third red. And obviously there's a reason to have a million black. Alright, we have Basic Mountain. Basic Mountain's kind of great. Alright, bolt your creature. Yeah, 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 whatever. Nice shield. <laughs> Could deploy a Snapcaster here, but I think I can find better spots for it still. And I want to make them discard a card. They're low in resources. Let's race. Bolt bad. Bolt perfect to break glass. Yeah, I mean, things change over the course of a turn. <laughs> 
Good catch, Scooter. Well played. Already done. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, you're a lily. <coughs> um, feels like I'm just supposed to pass here, and that feels really bad. I feel like I have to attack to get them to company. I've already got a ground blocker, so I don't think we're, like, too hard out. Yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking. Plan is to snapcaster bolt one of their thingamajigs. Assume they're gonna go A8 here in company. Sure. Fetch yourself into one turn away from dying. Well, interesting. Oh, they drew a path? That'd be really bad for me. Drog Skull. Drog Skull is fine. We can Snapcaster bolt that. Try to figure out if I want to flash in my Snapcaster first to play around Unified Will. I think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to. So we're going to flash in Snapcaster here, target Lightning Bolt, and then let this guy resolve. Because if I'm not mistaken, this does say Other Spirits. Um, so this doesn't play around a second Rattle Chains plus a land, but it plays around a land plus Unified Will. Um, that's mostly what I'm going for. Let my opponent move into combat. I prefer them to attack here. Now I see they have a spell and my attack would look silly. Or my wanting them to attack would look silly, but... All right, play Lily, eat your guy. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of the downsides to do just playing the Snapcaster out there, but um, did allow me to play around Unified Will is one of the big things I wanted to play around there, because I didn't really think I could lose the game if I got Snapcaster on the battlefield, based on how they had just, like, did not have a company the turn previously. Yeah, delicious. I think it was also likely they have a Queller. Oh, cool. We'll do much. Um, here, let me snippy tool this up. Oh, that's with it sideboarded. Um, all right, we'll get it after the next match. Well, somebody will have to remind me. <laughs> What's up, Charles? How you doing, man? <coughs> uh, mostly disposable hero because I don't like playing Dash Shadow. If you want the honest answer, F Dash Shadow. Um, do I think that my decks have a higher win rate than Dash Shadow? I don't know. I honestly don't know. We've fully embraced Blue John. Yeah, this is basically what it is. Uh, Sad Mephiso? Mephasio? Dear God, I'm so bad at pronunciation. It shows every time I try to read your guys' cool names. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is basically Blue John, for lack of a better sense. We're going to go through this in our first league, and then we'll play some Cryptic Commando later. <coughs> oh, we have a rematch of Sam Party versus Brad Nelson for the title. Should be fun. Ooh, good old... Good old one land sulfur falls nonsense. Stupid garbage. Um, that sand is really good. If it had a bolt, I'd think I would keep for sure. All right, let's mulligan. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. Let, come on, let's let's top a lightning bolt. <coughs> uh, yeah, we are going to be playing some modern action at Vegas. 
I'm probably arriving Thursday night, um, tentatively Thursday night. I don't know exactly when I'm arriving, um, but I will for sure be playing Modern there. Unless I do play the limited portion and I'm 9-0. I think if I rate 1, I would still drop to play Modern. A, because I'm way better at Modern than I am in Draft, and B, Modern's great. No Wednesday? I'm arriving on Wednesday now? How do you determine that, Aisha? <laughs> Thanks, Jeteri. Appreciate it. Ooh, what's the cool Enter the Gungeon uh, little tag you got there? <coughs> oh yeah, not, not in my house. Not happening today, friend. None of this garbage. Get your creature off my table. Alright, get ourselves a water grave. Tag your guy. I'll be down, Aber. <laughs> but malicious, I've already paid by 100 to enter in the next tournament. <laughs> Aisha, you just get to determine what day I show up. I love it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Alright, uh, here we're just going to go to basic island, I think. I guess I could get a basic mountain. That might be better, actually. We don't need triple blue. Yeah, screw it. We'll get a basic mountain. Play a little JVP. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, root for no Geist. Geist would suck. So hang it ever not me. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, Danny. Are you gonna be there too? You wanna hang out? Oh. <laughs> you literally did ask that question, I just not noticed it above. My bad. Filthy Miracles player? Hey, ever. If Miracles were legal, I'd play it. I would probably try to get the time off work and play it if I were closer on pro points. Ooh, good job, JVP. You ate a path. I'm proud of you. Um, yeah, let's go to Swamp. Got all these blue sources in my hand. Um, What would you be looking for the unban, I guess? GK? Or Gkoro? Um, ooh, my favorite time. Thought scare my opponent. Oh, yes, we found a Jace Friends Prodigy. We're doing it. So this is the best part. Now my Jace never flips, and I just look so smart, because I just get to loot away all these extra lands the rest of the game. <coughs> now my opponent gets to resolve a company, and that would suck, but whatever. You don't think Pretend is going to Miracles, do you? No, it's not Miracles, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, JVP is the best rampant growth of all time. Fact. See, watch this. Loot. Uh, discard that island. Get out of here. Probably gonna hold on to the rest of these lands. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass here. My opponent's likely to do something that I'm gonna hate, but whatever. I, I could see Stone Forge. I don't think they can unban Preordain because Storm is one of the tier one decks right now. I think it's like pretty clear Storm is very good. Um,. So I would be pretty shocked if they unbanned Preordain, or Ponder for that matter. Like, I just don't think you can unban either of those cards. I think Stoneforge is, like, probably the closest. Eh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, sure. Alright, whatever. Kill your creatures. I ain't got time for your creatures. Um, I, could, I could see Stoneforge. I think it would be really freaking powerful. Ooh, a 2-1. A 2-1, guys, we're doing it. Alright, well, we'll keep looting my lands, too. <laughs> I like punching my opponent with two ones. I'm probably into it. Yeah, I'm probably into it. I think Stoneforge is safer than Jace, probably, yes. Like, I think it's pretty clear the format's mellowed out a bunch. Like, there's a lot of mid-range battles and linear decks. I'd be pretty happy if Death and Taxes was a tier 1 deck. I'd be okay with that. Bye, Jace. You did good work, buddy. Oh my god, that's the last basic. Alright, well. Oh, hey. Hi, Jace. <laughs> He's gone for so long. So literally about to make a comment of, well, probably still won't play any of these lands, because you're probably just drawing their Jace. Stoneforge and Arbor in the same deck. I mean, there are some non-bows there, but, like, I would definitely do it. Drog Skull. Um, 
Maybe I don't want to terminate it yet. I could draw a lily. I think it's worth it to hold on for a lily. Oh, J Jace would be kind of absurd right now. Discards Water Grave. Ooh, Tassiger. Welcome to the team. Now we have to determine if we want to kill their guy or play Tassiger. Probably just want to kill their guys. I don't want to get caught in a spot where if they draw company, I can get got. Yeah, that's probably better. But it will play this land now, which is a little weird. I can loot away this 2 1. We don't need more 2 1s. We have 4 5s. <coughs> Who needs 2 1s when you have 4 5s? That's just magic. Oh, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. If you drew a land, I will get you. With my army of 2 1s and 4 5s. What do we draw? We have Serum Visions? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Loot. Always loot. Yeah, I don't need a Serum Visions. Oh, I'll get him 4-5. Oh, look at that. Perfect clock. 4 damage this turn, 8 next turn. Broke it. I, I do think that that would be the biggest scary thing, Russell. Um, I don't think Batter Skull, like, legit has to go. I think that you would be finally giving the, like, white proactive strategy something as powerful as uh, most of the other decks. Ooh, they drew a company in the last turn. Hope, hope they make this a game. That would be sweet. I don't know what they can hit. A Knight of the Reliquary in their spirits, that could be weird. You guys have Saint Traft? Alright, that has to block. What else you got? Oh, Knight of the Reliquary doesn't do anything. Nice rest in peace. Alright, so they have to block their Pride Mage for sure. <coughs> I just don't know that it's like any more busted than any other of this nonsense going on, it's the thing. Fatal push. Fatal push. Yeah, I will draw fatal push. Because that allows them to chump block their geist. Ooh, I have a text message. I want to read my text message. Um, another 2-1. Do I want another 2-1? <laughs> Is it better than the other 2-1s I have? Alright, get out of here. F6. Attack with all my creatures of I could attack with Jace too. Be kinda of rude, but I could do it. <coughs> yeah, Affinity would definitely not play Stone Forge. Alright, and this time we have a dispel for any nonsense. Oh, hey, look at that. They drew another company. Uh, no, thank you. Alright, we did it. Victorious. Jason's Prodigy's broken. Or something. <laughs> it's sort of like a counterspell where it's too good for modern, but not good enough for legacy. What is that? Oh, it's sort of like counters. Oh, okay, the card counters, but I'm not like a counter spell. Excuse me. Sorry, Russell. I do think that Stone Forge is like hyper efficient. Um, I probably have like a distorted view on it because I just play Colgan's Command decks every time. I wish my opponent would let me type WTF. It, like, really doesn't want me to swear. <laughs> uh, I think some of the Coco decks could play Stone Forge. Uh, my hand sucks, so I'll keep. It's pretty much how all my Mulligan decisions go. I look at my hand, it's not very good, so I keep. Ooh, my hand does line up decently against that, assuming they don't have another stupid Eldrazi Temple. That was a really bad draw. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully they don't have a second Eldrazi Temple. Because my hand would be truly horrific if they do. 
All right, it seems pretty clear that they just have a a thought knot or a reality smasher here. We'll just terminate it, put it in our graveyard, probably lose our snapcaster. <coughs> um, in this deck, a perfect seven. Ooh, a basic swamp. That's not normal to these. This might be black white Eldrazos. All right, that resolves a perfect seven. Probably like two lands. Oops, I tapped for blue. Two lands, Thought Scour. Thought Scour, Thought Seize, Dark Slick Shores, Lightning Bolt, Snapcaster, Tassiger, Jace Prince Prodigy, probably. Something in that vein. Ooh, we drew another Terminate. That's probably getting Thought Seized. Oh, yeah. No, no. In the, in the other version, it's like, yeah, two lands, Thought Scour, Lightning Bolt. Tassiger, Snapcaster, Ancestral, probably. <coughs> I think it's definitely two lands. <laughs> oh, my, my opponent is overcome with how, how amazing my hand is now. No, they better not take Tassiger. I'm planning on playing that soon. I'm planning on drawing a Thought Scour. Oh, wow, what a jerk. Wow. That is not cool. Not cool at all. <laughs> wow, that was really rude. Alright, still know what I'm digging for yet, so I don't want to sear him this turn. Planning on terminating this turn. And then we're going to sear him visions. We're going to get that blood crypt here with our polluted delta. Again, it's especially against these kind of decks that have all these ghost quarters and nonsense, it's really important to fetch out all of your duels. Thought you'd have given up Grexes in the middle switch to Blade instead. No, I, I played it that one time and I was not a big fan. I think the deck was pretty good, but it just wasn't it wasn't my style. I did I do actually believe that Blade Control is actually a good deck, and I think if you wanted to register it for a modern Grand Prix, you certainly could. Like I would never fault anybody for playing that in a modern Grand Prix. I think the deck's perfectly fine. Uh, it just wasn't my style. I didn't enjoy it as much. Like, there was too much sitting there and just, like, hoping your opponent didn't have things sometimes. Also, the affinity matchup was not very good. <laughs> uh, you really should consider it more, Charles. It's pretty fun. Oh, hey, you're back. Welcome back, friend. Alright, visions. Visions to visions. That's a K command. I don't particularly need a K command just yet. I would want one, however, if this gets dismembered, which they usually play some number of copies. I think I'm probably going to keep this K command as much as I don't think it's going to be very effective. I don't really want to exile my whole graveyard, so I'm not going to play such other Seer Visions. <coughs> that one you have to play a basic land to keep it terminated in my graveyard. Alright, well, we'll play our basic. I'd rather have two more scries. Yeah, I guess I would. I definitely don't want either of these. That is very clear. Alright, play the swamp. We want to leave a, a terminate in our graveyard for the high density of spell flashback we have, i.e. Jason Snappy Doo. Even though one of our snappy or snappy doos are over here. We do need it back at some point. Would I fault anybody for entering Splinter Twin in a modern Grand Prix? It depends. Uh, wins if if it's currently banned I would really fault you for registering it <laughs> Aisha boo bolt boo you bolt's great well it's pretty bad in this matchup but <laughs> wait they're ghost courting themselves to get white I assume they forgot to float a mana first what the hell's happening oh they're just running out displacer sure I don't really understand what's happening. Okay. Now I wish I had a bolt. Ooh, thought scare. <coughs> I think twin would look fine in the current metagame. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I think if you're someone that is, like, not pleased with how it feels to play against Death Shadow... Um, just remember that it was pretty similar to play that way against 
uh, twin. Except for, instead of getting attacked by, like, a 6-6 while they held up uh, Stubborn Denial, it was, you were literally dead. Um, pros and cons. <laughs> Digital games, Hearthstone, Gwent, League. I've never played Gwent. I've watched a little bit for work. Uh, God, I really don't want to terminate this thing, but if they didn't play Smasher, like, they just can't have one. Alright, screw it. Moffat. My life's come to terminating displacers. <laughs> I really hope that they just K-Command him. Or not K-Command, dismember the stupid thing. <laughs> Alright, well, no, they didn't act to figure out if I want a Thought Scar. I don't think I do. I think it's just so important for me to get this tar pit out there because I think I'm going to start racing pretty soon. It would also be nice if they just thought that they had to hold up Ghost Quarter now for the end of Eternity to deal this thing rather than tapping out for giant creatures. Oh, uh, they just had a million Displacers in their hand? That's why they had to quarter themselves? Alright, alright, alright. That's fine, it's fine. <laughs> nice either, Val. Sure. Part of the reason for wanting to do it this way also is I want to thought scour myself and try to find a Snapcaster or a Jace to resurrect. Ooh, Liliana. Yeah, that's pretty effective too. That is pretty effective too. Do 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 do. You sack a creature and you sack a creature. Um, uh, do I want to shock myself? I'm definitely going to attack for four. I don't feel that I really need to shock myself. <coughs> I don't feel a real need to cast this spell. I don't see a real need to blow up this either vial either. Mm. Do you think I'm going to play a land though? Um, Koro, I think I think it's very good. I do believe the deck is very good. It's probably the best deck. Um, it's one that I'm happy to play against. I I believe the games are like slightly favorable for me. Um, but I also find the games like really exciting and really fun to play. Um, but overall, like if somebody was going to go to a modern tournament and they said I have infinite time to play test. What do you think I should play? I would probably recommend to them Grixis Shadow. Um, like, I think it's a deck that, even if you're not the best player in the world, you can pick it up and play it pretty well. Like, I think the deck is just that good. <coughs> uh, get out of here, Delta. Probably just gonna shatter, discard whatever their last card is here, uh, and then lead back Tar Pit to fake block this guy as it would get flickered. And really, I just want a Tasker activation. But I want my opponent to have to use their Displacer potentially twice to kill my Lily. Uh, target player, boom and boom. Get out of here. This is fine, because that is more broken. Wait, what? Why did they concede? They weren't even dead. I haven't even attacked them yet. I still wanted to play like 10 more turns of magic. Oh, well, yeah, I was wrong in Jace. All right. I don't know who it was. I think it was Aber that said we needed to get a better screenshot. Let's get a better screenshot. Also, if... It was you and it wasn't Aber that suggested it. I'm sorry. I should assume that Aber suggests most of these good ideas. Um, that's not your fault. doesn't mean you're not smart. All right. Let's put you on my desktop. JVP duck. All right. Somebody uh, teach me how to Dougie, as the kids say. How do I... Oh, it was Mush? All right. Awesome, Mush. Mush, how do I get this into that... Uh... The not the straw poll website, but the Imgur. You have to you have to teach me the internet. So I'm not very smart when it comes to internets. 
Ooh, but I do have a text message. All right, go to Ender.com, click on upload. <laughs> Texting all his has Jesus on watch this. That is aggressive. That is aggressive. Sign up. New, new post. That's probably the button I'm looking for. Browse. JVP duck. Oh, all right, we did it. Man, this is easy. Look at the internet these days. They make it so simple. A simple Tim like me can figure it out. All right, damnation here is great. Um... I think Fulminators versus the Tron version. I don't think I need it here against the Taxes version. Um, I do like Spell Snare because of Tide Hell and nonsense like that. Fourth K Command's kind of sweet for grinding. I don't really think we need anything else after that. I don't want the Inquisitions, that's for sure. I do kind of want the Thought Seizes. Um, if I do want all three of these cards, though, I need to cut one more card. Yeah, I can always cut a character. Serum Vitamins, whatever. Whatever. <coughs> don't really think we need Anger. Three bolts might be one too many though. Let's see, it kills Thalia, Leonin Arbiter, Tide Hull Scholar. Most of them don't have Leonin Arbiter in the black white colorless versions. It does kill Displacer though. Most of them don't even have Displacer. I definitely want all the Lilies, I definitely want all the Terminates. Could get a Fatal Push. That seems wrong. Alright, screw it. This is one too many pieces of removal, I think, but we'll be okay. Is this the bad version of Jund? Well, it depends what you think is bad. Uh, delicious, we're just trying out different things. You're not Steph, Jeteri, you're crazy. It even literally says right there. You can't lie to the people, man. They can read. They, they managed to get to twitch.tv. They can read, trust me. Uh, God, I want to keep this so badly. I think Jace is, like, kind of certain in this matchup. Uh. All right, well, this is much better. Land, I will take a land. <coughs> Just casually taking five billion damage off all my lands. Uh, play the fetch land first, just in case they do have land on Arbiter, we'd like to fetch around it. Uh, don't see our visions there, as we don't really know what we're looking for yet. We don't know what kind of hand our opponent has. Um, it's also a card our opponent's very unlikely to take when we have a Terminate and a Lily. So we're not really concerned in how quickly to, we develop here. That is more annoying. Uh, let's get a steam vents here, as that'll give us one of each of the dual Z's. And we'd have dub dub dub. <laughs> Snappy do. Um, I want a serum visions here? Not particularly. Not particularly. Nah. Yeah, so I don't want to see our visions. Off it. <coughs> Thanks, Wonka. Take it easy, man. Wait, Scooter, does Jerry say that also? I like Jerry a lot. He's on my team, and I was super stoked when we won the PT. I was sitting there, like, basically yelling in the airport. I was so happy. Um, Sriracha, it does snap, bolt, snap, but at a lower rate, because there's only three bolts. So, it's less likely that we have two of our snapcasters and one of our bolts. So, it's harder to snap, bolt, snap. Um, however, it still does bolt, snap, bolt. It does do that. <laughs> snap, bolt, snap. Alright, um, opponent's tied all scaling us. I assume they're just taking our terminate. <laughs> Seems like this would have been a good hand if I had an anger in against. Maybe I should have brought an anger on the draw. <coughs> I wonder if I was supposed to have anger on the draw. I should have so few hits for it. If like 11. Ooh, and they played on Drazi Temple. That's good for me to know about. That means they don't have a Thought Knots here. 
They looked like they were trying to play an ether vial and realized they had a failure out. So I'm guessing one of their four cards is an ether vial, and none of their cards are a copy of um da, 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 a copy of Thoughtmonster. here. All right, so here, consider visions. We can just hold up Snappy to try to block this thing, or if we at least we hold up two mana, it prevents this thing from coming in. Yeah, Smith, but I mean, we're right there now. It's kind of why I want to just tap out and not hold up Snappy. But I'm a little afraid of just, like, getting Reality Smasher next turn. Taking 9, going to 8, and then having to to shock myself, K-Command, and basically basically be just saying, yes, I'll be at 1 life. Um, unfortunately, that looks like where we're probably at. Maybe we'll find a basic off this and everything. I'll be all hunky-dory. Go with Thoughtseize. Well, I don't particularly want either of these cards. Thoughtseize, you're doing a pretty piss poor job here of showing people why you're so great. Mostly because you cost two mana. <coughs> Thanks, Brian. How you doing? Yeah, Jen, it may have been bad. I just wasn't thinking about Thalia enough. Like, I just saw my opponent discard one. I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't really care. Could be really bad. Not saying it feels right right now, I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> it's just like an old Ia Kelrog. Yeah, Charles, it is. The problem is it also, do, you know, deals me two damage and my life totals 20 instead of 29. Or I guess we're locked for 28, but, you know, same story. <laughs> what in the world is this? Oh, they drew a Thought Knots here? That's really bad for me. That's, like, particularly bad for me. Like, really, really horrendous. Hmm. That's bad. <laughs> What's two damage among friends? <laughs> I mean... Two damage is two damage, man. I would draw another... Hope I draw another K command. That'd be useful. Would be useful. Hmm. It's less good. Well, go to eleven, then go to five. Could just play Lily. They probably just sack Thalia, as Thalia's already done all of her jobs. Then this thing kills off Lily, that hits me to 9. Basically, I'm only drawing to Damnation at that point. I think I'm only drawing to Damnation, I thought Season of Snapcaster fell also. So they drew Thought Not that turn. I would definitely have Thought Not of that turn instead of Smasher. So I could still have Smasher in their hand. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Does not look good. Alright, let's Thought Season them, figure out what's going on. I think I'm just like pretty much on the draw animation or die. Ooh, they do a Flicker Wisp. Alright, so I definitely should have had in. Uh. Angers on the draw. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm bad. I'm bad and I should feel bad. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Uh cat, some version of them there are. This version in particular, yes, it's like it's likely a one or a two of. Um I did not realize my opponent was on the flicker of version. Oh, that's probably a bad sign for me also. Boy, vey. That's bad. My creature is likely to get met with a dismember or a path to exile. However, if my opponent somehow screwed up... Hooray! But 
I don't really think that's what happened here, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, we are we are in high speed ambush viper mode. Uh, Brian, I actually prefer a version that doesn't play either. Yeah, they drew path. Wop wop wop. All right. Hopefully everybody in the chat's feeling lucky. Cause I'm feeling lucky. We're gonna draw damnation. I don't deserve it, but I would take it. Um, that does not allow me to survive. Does not allow me to survive. All right. Fair enough. I don't believe I played that game very well. Um, I just don't think that you actually need Rev from when I played with it. It felt like just more of a win, like, a huge win more card. I think you actually would have been better off with just, like, another Sweet Planeswalker. <laughs> like, I definitely like the version that I played that had, I had a Jace 4, I had two Gideon, and one Elspeth. I think if I just played more Jace 4s, my deck would have just been even better. Um, and I definitely don't like Ancestral, because that deck actively needed to, uh, use all of its mana on the first early turns of the game, just trading with its opponents. Like, the versions of Grixis, I have built that way to trade mana with my opponents. Those actually just felt like if you didn't, you were just dying. <coughs> um, I, I assume it's gotta just be super underpowered right mush. Like, the fact that you're not getting anything in the energy is, like, pretty lame, too. Like, sure, you get... So you're basically getting a 4C, right? Because 4C, 4C was like scry 4, scry 2, and then draw 2. So it was some, some absurd common. Um, you're basically getting that. Um, Alastor, I, I think Reman's really bad. I think Mana Leak might actually be reasonable now because there's just enough creatures. I hate Mana Leak as a card, but I think there's fewer big mana decks. Like, I think there's less Tron and nonsense like that running around. Um... Like, I think Eldrazi Tron is still a good deck. Like, people still certainly play it. Um, but I think because it's so much on the downswing that you can get away with things like Mana Lake. Um, I currently have a Logic not slotted in. <laughs> Alright, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Do I want to change anything? I guess I like all those fatal pushes. I wish I had a static caster. <coughs> well, I should write that down. Put a static caster in this build. I guess all this nonsense looks fine. And the spell snare looks medium, I guess. Alright, let's trade spell snare for a discard spell. I don't think I should need anger on the play. Yeah, maybe it's better. <laughs> I could cut a Tassiger. My opponent's leaving. No, Tasker's just so good because they have so few smashers. Alright, screw it. I don't like Anger. Anger sucks. Yeah, I mean, it is probably the best draw spell, but I'm just, like, not super stoked with it, I guess. If that was an instant, it would be amazing. Yeah, I do think that that would be a lot. Like, I think that was, would be something I'd be into. Ooh, this hand is fucking fantastic. Would I like to keep? Have you seen my hand, Moto? Why are you asking such silly questions? Look, look at my hand. It's stupid. I have two dark rituals in it. Yeah, Aber, I... I don't... I don't look at the deck and say, God, that deck is great. But the deck does consistently win. So there is something to that. You can't just say the deck's bad when it consistently wins. Like... But, like, that's the annoying part. Is there is something to that deck that allows it to keep winning? <coughs> Ooh, that can get us basic Swampo. Should probably fetch basic Swampo right now. So we're probably going to want a Lily. On the follow up. Swamp. Thought Scour Us. 
All right, Tasker, time to eat some cards. Ooh, we found the best possibles. Do we have any creatures? We do. All right, bye, Snappy. We only need one of you right now, buddy. God, we are doing it. Double Dark Ritual. God, this is great. This deck punishes people for drawing poorly. Oh, yeah, delicious. This deck, if you don't interact with this deck, you just get walloped sometimes. Oh. So you mean I get to shatter this in all your dreams? Okay. I'm into shattering all my opponent's dreams. Alright, attack you. <coughs> Upkeep will shatter their vial and make them discard, and they'll probably cry a little bit. I guess it'll be Shatter Rebuy Snappy. Uh, return target creatures, destroy target artifact. Booyah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh yeah, Jeterry, we are going off. This is when I enjoy playing Grixis the most. Not when my opponent's mana screwed, but when I looked out at the table, and there's a Tassiger, and I've got Snapcaster plus Lightning Bolt, I've got a Liliana, like, I just have three Planeswalkers in my hand. I've got a Planeswalker on the battlefield, like, this is just, this is just great. What more could you really ask for out of Modern? Um, I think I'm just gonna commit Jace to the board. It basically does what Snapcaster does to, like, a Tide Hollow Skeller. I also drew a tap land, so I don't really have a reason to thought scare first. <coughs> no land? Oh, yeah. If I wanted a card draw spell on a deck that just got Delirium all the time, that would be great. Yeah, that's what Thoughtscour is. It literally gets you Delirium with one card. All you can do is mill over an artifact, create turtle land, and you did it. It's also Dark Ritual. Oh, yeah, Charles, there are a lot of games of Magic. Especially the ones that I play, where the fun is a zero-sum game, because all I do are play the, all the horrible, invasive, like, just mess with your opponent, your opponent's not allowed to have fun, like, Crypt Command, Thought Seize, Snapcast for Mage, Colagon's Command, like, none of these cards are exciting to play against. Thought Scour has been Dark Ritual since before they banned Treasure Cruise. There you go, Mush, now you're on board. You were always on board. I don't know what you're talking about, though. Or what I'm talking about. <coughs> yeah, I remember at the Treasure Cruise Grand Prix, I played four main deck Relic of Progenitus as an Abzan deck. Wasn't my brightest tournament, but... I did go 11... 11-3-1 or 11-4. I cashed that tournament. I remember paying for my trip. <laughs> Who knew Mental Note could get better? <laughs> oh yeah, Thoughtscar is great. So I was comboing off with eggs for 25 minutes and losing to time? That's just justice. <laughs> I mean, that that's literally justice in a nutshell. Uh, Dokomoi, that sounds really bad. Uh, Mr. Tofu, sorry, I just saw your message. I scrolled out because I knew I had to miss some sort of questions up there. Um, it, it looks a lot more powerful than I'm guessing it is, is what my base instinct tells me, is that the card looks really powerful because it's three mana kill all creatures, but the problem is you're really paying three on one turn and three on another turn. So unless there's some way, what the hell, basic forest pass? Uh, oh, thank God, okay, good. Ugh. I guess that doesn't actually solve my problem. And it's gonna look really dumb to my opponent if I just play an untapped blood crypt. Because it's just so likely that they should just not play it permanent. God, what plays basic force and passes though that doesn't play a two minute spell? Alright, I'm likely to look really dumb here. Like, I think it's. Highly, highly likely my opponent should just pass. Um, sorry, back to your, to your question, Mr. Tobu. Um, like, you're really paying six mana for it. It's nice that it's in installments and you're playing two different turns. <coughs> like, that makes the card a lot more playable than six mana just destroy all creatures, obviously. Like, we just don't play Fumigate in standard. 
That I mean, there's obviously contextual issues there, but I literally don't know what my opponent's playing. I'm just gonna fatal push this and worry about whatever the hell is happening later. <laughs> I'm gonna hope I draw Jace because I don't know what's happening. Ooh, I can get really greedy, and I really want to. Um, so I think the card's powerful, but I think it's a lot less powerful than we think. Oh yeah, it's, it's probably fine if they don't do anything with their mana. Because I don't really know what an, a GG deck, or at that point it was a uh, single green, deck was going to do on two open mana. Um, Forest Stone lead themselves well in modern to just playing flash games. Alright, I think I'm going to get really greedy here. Fetch a Watery Grave untapped. Thought scour myself. So I want to be able to play Task or a Hand Disruption spell. It's going to be a little odd, obviously, if I draw, like, some other nonsense, but... Task Alright, alright, whatever. We'll accept. I kind of deserved it. I played to it. Alright, so they are some sort of nonsense collect company deck. E-Witness, Devoted Druid. That's a bunch of nonsense to grind through. Alright, come here, Snippy Tool. we got some work to do. Noble, Devoted Druid... Probably just correct to take this Eternal Witness and leave them with the company. So I'd rather them not get the creature and the spell, I'd rather them just get the spell. I really don't want them to draw a land next turn either. Yeah. I guess what I could do... No, that's pretty bad. I just want to take the Eternal Witness. Yeah, take the Eternal Witness and I can Snapcast her Thoughts use the company at some point. And it's obviously great if they don't draw a land here, because then I don't have to worry about the stupid ooze. I just don't think I can afford to take the ooze there. Alright, running out the druid. Oh, hello. Um. Hmm. So they drew cord and an untapped land. I would just die. Right? So they have scavenging ooze, can eat the whole graveyard. Company. They could probably find something up the company and make him for me out. Uh, hmm. Does feel kind of great. Just calling on command. My phone's crap, though. Walking to Ooze feels a little weird. They're likely to discard Noble. Could just snap Thoughtsies right now and look to K Command Tasker next turn. That's probably the best play I have. Yeah, that's almost certainly the best play I have. Yeah, that's certainly the best play I have. Alright, we're taking a little risk. Could be dead. Don't care. Losing's whatever. So they drew another Noble. So I can take the Ooze. At which point they can't really grow it. They have two creatures to eat, and I don't have any creatures to eat. <coughs> but I already want to blow up the Devoted Druid. And I want to play the Tasker. The thing is they can grow their guy out of my Tasker range. Which is a little annoying. Yeah, I think it's going to take company because they can cast it. Screw it. I don't care about no ooze. I'm afraid of no ooze. Bring it on, Uzi. Hope my opponent makes the sweet play of go noble, noble, attack with devoted drill, untap it a bunch of times. Play scavenger play scavenging ooze. Oh, they just play another devoted druid. That's lame. They were supposed to do fun stuff. See now I just get to blow my opponent out. That's just way less fun. Alright, discard your card, kill your guy. Here I'm sitting here like rooting for my opponent to do all these like sweet busted things to me. And instead, I'm just like casting taskers and stuff. Um, what do I want to leave? Probably the terminate. Yeah, probably terminate. All right, so while he's attack has two threes. Yeah, get him. Get him. <coughs> Holy crap! I've fallen behind on chat.
Oh, thoughts carrying yeah, thoughts carrying your opponent decking them is just a delight. Alright, let's fetch an island. I guess I could fetch a mountain. Yeah, it's probably better to get the mountain. Get a mountain, serum. <laughs> Alright, well, considering this card's horrible, I will take some other serum. Um, what do I want to attack with here? Probably just... Probably just both. Could obviously get dicey if my opponent has drawn a company. Whatever, gotta kill him someday. <laughs> I also think that's possible. They should just company on their turn when I was tapped out, so. I don't care. Alright, let's try to catch up with chat and see if I had another text message. How do I side versus Eldrazi Tron? Jin, with the, uh, the normal version of the deck, I bring in the Fulminators, the Surgicals, the Damnation. Yeah, I'll take two. Um, and we cut Bolts, all the Bolts, um, Counter Squalls, usually. And I forget the last cut. <coughs> I'm not big into the idea of Commander. It does actually sound fun, though. I won't lie. Ooh, a Thought Scour. Thought Scour also sounds fun. Alright, discard their task here. Yeah, Smith, I agree. Alright, well, we've got our Planeswalker. Let's mill ourselves. Alright, what do we got in here? We got Inquisition, a bunch of Serums, and a Terminate. Um, hmm. Alright, I think. I think what I'm likely to do is just attack for two and then kill a stupid voter druid. As much as I don't really want to. Oh yeah, Zam it is. Yeah, I just think taking myself off of any real way to lose is kind of important. I want to protect my Jace. I don't think I need to kill my opponent in two turns. So like, I can easily line up an attack there with both Play Creeping Tar Pit. My opponent can attack back with a Noble killing my Jace after I kill her Devoted Druid. I just don't like really feel a need to move that quickly, but maybe I'm wrong. I was kind of hoping my Thought Scout would hit something sweet, but didn't. Oh, I think her fun died. I think we're deep enough in the game that one it's... It's not the mana that I'm worried about, Wujo. I'm more concerned about them just, like, spiking a company and killing me instantly. That's the sort of nonsense that this, these decks can do. Like, spike a company and do a Eternal Witness and a Vizier, untap, make infinite mana, company again. Hoopla, like that garbage. <coughs> uh, Zem, no, I don't think either version's, like, strictly better at all. Uh, mostly just trying a bunch of things out. Um, so here I definitely want to attack with these in Tar Pit, and I can shock myself with Steam Vents. So what I should do is... I guess I should Inquisition first. Yeah, I should do it first. Alright, Snapcaster... <laughs> This way, if they have a court or something, we'll learn all the information and not run afoul of something awful happening. We can run afoul if it, if it is court and they go get uh, Eternal Witness and then get back company. Um, it's a little more convoluted. <laughs> but what's nice is that if, if it is all of that, they can't ghost quarter my Creeping Tar Pit, which is part of the reason to do this now. 
Perfect. Okay. So they do have that. So now they can't kill our creepy tar pit. Oh, X equals two. Are they just getting one of the combo pieces and just hoping they have to draw the other then? I don't really know what my opponent's line is here. Oh god, Jeteri, playing Risefall with the days. Oh yeah, you know, I think it, I think trying one of Jace is like perfectly reasonable. Getting Duskwatch so they can find more creatures. Okay, okay, that's smart, that's smart. Alright, and we'll bash with all three of these. I'm not shrinking their Duskwatch because I kind of want them to block with Duskwatch here, although I expect them to block with Noble. Um, so this is sort of like, let your opponent make the mistake because I didn't shrink their Jace, it looks like I'm making a mistake. Um, but really all I'm trying to do is bait them into not blocking Noble on Tasker, I'm trying to get them to block Duskwatch and it's snappy. I didn't think it would work, but certainly worth trying. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and plus Jace on the Duskwatch. And ship it back. Twitch cops are here. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> Wait, why did they tap their ghost quarter? I don't really understand what just happened. Maybe there's some card that I'm not thinking of that they can draw. Alright, so they looked at the top three cards and then conceded. We did it! Hooray! I don't think we played very well, probably not, but... Um... Yeah, I mean they could recast... Recast cords if they're willing to put cord in their deck, otherwise just companies. <laughs> Ooh, Golden Kappa. Jeez. Show off. Show off. Alright, not having this as a static caster in this matchup is really embarrassing. Um, Zem, I haven't really played much Grixis Shadow. I played, like, two leagues of it. The deck was super powerful. Um, not my cup of tea, though. Like, I, I think the deck's really, really good. It might just be the best deck in Modern right now. It, like, if I were going to a tournament, I think that's the deck I would focus on making sure my deck can beat. Alright, against this nonsense, I'm not willing to discard. I like it against basically exactly Eternal Witness. <coughs> Holy llamas, yeah, no kidding. Um, <laughs> no, they showed us three forest, a windswept heath, and a ghost quarter. Got my hair is out of control. Uh, Liliana seems pretty, pretty poor. Spellsner is, like, probably good enough on the draw. Feels weird taking out all the discard. Like, I don't really have enough counter spells to get away with this, I think. I could shave, like, a Jace. There's no such thing as a Golden Cap. <laughs> yeah? Cadaver, it was really good in Standard, I can say that for sure. Don't worry, Zem, you're good. It didn't. It did not end up on the battlefield very long. <coughs> I did miss the Boggles comment. Somebody was talking about Boggles earlier. Alright, what are we cutting? Let's cut a Serum Visions. And God, I don't want to cut Jace. I just want to flash back these Angers so much. I do think I need both these Inquisitions, though. Alright, screw it. Who needs Serum Visions? Not about that life. <laughs> Splash Green for Goyf and Company. Cap. <laughs> See, those are more of the comments we need. Good job, Chosu. God, then our deck would actually just be gas. Could you imagine? 61 cards. Maybe I was supposed to do that. Maybe my opponent's onto it. They figured it out. <laughs> Doke boy. Now we're now we're just begging the, the Twitch staffers for for Golden Capus. This is what our lives have come to. They just want to hang out and watch some, some magic where people aren't spinning marvels. Alright, Noble. Yeah, we'll fetch a blood curtain and get rid of that nonsense. Get rid of that nonsense. Boom. 17. Taking it. Blood Cribs. 
Bloodcrypt is so much better in this version of the deck than it is the Cryptic Command version. It's, like, unreasonable the number of times you turn one fetch blood, blood Crypt. Like, Blood Crypts are so good in this version. And the other version, whenever I draw Blood Crypt, I'm just so sad. Like, actually almost miserable. Um, Alright, I think it's correct here to Serum Visions and Inquisition. Uh, the next turn will probably Creeping Tar Pit Jace. I think it's more important to... Uh, to use my Inquisition while it's going to be good. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, well... That was not really the hand I wanted Inquisition. Um, bleh. Well. Now, I obviously wish I'd played Jace. Alright, I think I'm going to take one of the witnesses and hope they brick a land this turn. The spell. Terminate Dark Slick Shores. Don't think. I definitely don't want the Dark Slick Shores. But I want the Serum Visions. I would have to commit to playing. The island doesn't allow me to double terminate. Yeah, I guess I can just play this next turn. <laughs> It'll allow us to reevaluate. If we find another Inquisition, we can do that. And if we find an Inquisition, we'd want to do that. And if we find a. S I can't find a Snapcaster, but. I'm like, whoa, they fetched? They wouldn't have done that. Their best draws a land. Unless they put a land on the bottom. No, I guess it didn't matter. They just drew a land. That's stupid. That's lame. All right, well. All right, well, I did find my Dispel. <laughs> I guess I theoretically should have played the Island first. That was probably bad. That was really bad. Yeah, that was really bad. That was really bad, because now I can't terminate. I mean, I guess I don't want to ever terminate here, but... Should at least keep that in my opponent's eye. Alright, played their catacombs. I go to 15. <coughs> Alright, and they're not jamming. So, let's make sure. I don't want to jam my Inquisition this turn, right? No, this turn I want to Jace. I want a Jace plus Dispel their company and let them slam their cord in the turn after Inquisition plus Terminate. If I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> the reason about Inquisition here is they can just cord for a 1. Um, so it doesn't really get me anywhere because the Inquisition can't take the company. So maybe it's a reason like maybe I'm not supposed to leave Inquisition. Maybe I'm supposed to just leave in Thoughtseize. As you can tell, I don't I haven't played enough of this version. It's probably just a big leak on my behalf. Probably just a big mistake. Um, however, if it were a Thoughtseize, it'd be much better if I could go Thoughtseize that turn, dispel their company, Thoughtseize their cord. Um, and I would say at that point, we're just like probably pretty big favorites. Here, I think they should... Oh, they didn't... I think they were supposed to cord for another Eternal Witness. Oh, they have... Okay, that that's smart then. I like their play then. This is a good play by them. Brad won? Jesus. Brad's crushing it. Ooh, that was good. Alright, so... Can't cast three spells because it's a silly basic island. But we could do it if we go... Um, Inquisition their spell, bolt their guy, bolt another guy. So I think that's what we're going to do. Inquisition you, get your cord. Loot. Okay, so now we figure out if we want to play Delta. If we want to play Delta, we discard a Terminate, and then we bolt Terminate, and we plus. I think I'd rather just have more spells. Can I have a JSON 2 and more spells, I think it's slightly better. Plan would be to bolt, bolt, of course. Yeah. So this is the infamous bolt, Jace, bolt. Because some people want to play Jace the Mind Sculptor. 
All I want to do is watch the world burn. Boom. All right. We have a birds. We have a jace. I think we're slight favorites. Standard is a cesspool. Quoted for the truth. Ban Dokomoi plus. Solemn, what did Dokomoi do? Is there an internal affairs division for Twitch cost like there is IRL cost? Because this is just bullying. What did he do, Dokomoi? The Golden Kappa? Do you think he's just trolling you? Dokomoi, I don't know what you're doing, but be nice, okay? Um, do I want to terminate his devoted dread? I kind of do. I don't want to have to, like, worry the entire time that I can't tap mana. Probably should not tap both my black sources. Kill that nonsense. Play island. <coughs> Ooh, they did draw Vizier. Probably just pulse on that for a little while. Yeah, we could Jace. We might build a Jace Emblem in this game. Kind of into that idea. This Noble's a little annoying. Yeah, whatever. Pulse on your Vizier. Play Dark Slick Shores. Then we have to figure out if we want to attack. Because I could just kill them. It's not unreasonable to just kill them pretty quickly here. Could obviously get ugly if they draw a company. They can't do anything with the infinite mana yet, but if they find a thing in the thing in the company, yeah, I kind of want to attack. Screw it. I ain't got no fear. I'm scared, but I ain't got no fear. Get him. Get him, creepy tharpet. I came to I came to attack. I didn't come here to sit here and not do anything. <coughs> sure, dusk watch. See, I'd much rather kill that. Duskwatch is a card that I'm terrified of. That card could just beat me on the spot. Gotta help it draw an anger. Damnation, anger. Oh, Snapcaster? Jeez. Jeez! Um. Alright, so we're gonna terminate this guy. Terminate this, and they find a sweet creature, we'll Snapcaster Inquisition it. Do you remember when Blue's the card advantage color? Yeah, sad. I I didn't play much Magic when Blue's the card advantage color. Since I started playing, it's really always just been white or green. The music on this channel sucks. Yeah, Returning Dawn, it's, it's not great. I'll just start singing at random times, though. Careful what you ask for. <laughs> Brought to you by the Grixis Grindfest. Wait, they missed? I'm trying to Snapcaster Inquisition your hand. You're not supposed to miss. What is this garbage? Go, put, a, put a creature in your hand. Jesus. So why we can't have nice things. Alright, I'm just going to sit here for a turn and play Snapcaster. I'm not going to attack. <coughs> Mostly I have a great incentive now to not move. So, I won't move. I hope I draw another Jace. That would, that would be a sweet draw. <laughs> oh, another Snapcaster? You don't say. Alright, well, let's plus on the bird. We can go Snapcaster, look to Bolt. <laughs> and then still hold up Snapcaster to spell this time. So this time now it incites my opponent to attack with like the Vizier and I try to get my Snapcaster to trade for a creature and then still have Snapcaster to spell. That way I'm not even worried about my opponent potentially infinite mana me. Or yeah, none of this nonsense. Dispel, where are you? There you are. Alright, so my opponent drew the best possibles. Didn't matter. Taste it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Seriously, how Tireless Tracker is, a, I think, a very good green design. I think that is like pretty much the ideal like green sort of card advantagey creature. Um, I do think that it is very pushed. I think it's probably a lot better than R and D ever thought. But I think that's like a very good green card advantage design. 
I'm really happy with Tireless Tracker. It's annoying as hell to play against. Not a card I ever want to play against, but I, I do think it's a good card. I think that I'm, I'm glad that they printed it overall. All right, so we got what I wanted. <coughs> Rally here. That's a little annoying. I guess I could have not blocked because of that, but that seems silly. All right, what do they get back? Probably their Duskwatch. Sure, I'll Snapcaster Bolt that. And then if they had something completely absurd, I can trade my Jace, essentially, for an Inquisition to kill it. I also get a draw step, so there's that. What's up, Vens? Courser, I think, is less so, as it doesn't really require you to do anything outside of just it existing. Um, that's not really a card I want to deal with. Alright, hopefully this mills us into a K command. Oh, God, look at that. Look at that! God, that is magic. Alright. We have a swamp already. All right, let's go get it. Swamp minus K command. Uh, return target creature. Choose Snappy. Kill your noble. Yeah, kill your noble. And do we want to Snapcaster Inquisition a Devoted Druid? I don't really feel like I need to. Do I want to Snapcaster Serum Visions or whatever there, Snapcaster Terminate? I think I'd rather Snapcaster Terminate for a later date. So I'll save that. Ooh, we're getting followers. I hear the little buzzy buzz buzz. Oh yeah, opponent gets top decks? I don't know, we've drawn pretty well the past few turns too. They've drawn really well, we've also drawn really well. Yeah, Renegade Rallyer, completing the trade. Would be bad if they drew another Renegade Rallyer. I've already gone through two. Can't draw that many. Alright, another land. Um, three, seven, so I can't activate Tarpit and hold up Terminate. It's a little annoying. Probably just play Dark Slug. Just realized my clock's kind of low, so let's try to change that. And I need to figure out a better way to set up this. The follows. Because every time, as soon as I hear the noise, I look over. Like, because I'm watching the stream live. What's up, Crick? Thanks for following. Welcome aboard. Hopefully you're you're enjoying the, the nonsense of the Grixis player attacking a green player. Thankfully all five colors of magic are represented in this. What's up, Mike? Thanks for following. Um, that is a good flavor question. If Ben Stark were here, we would ask him. But I think Ben would also literally scream at me if I told him that I was asking people to, to ask him flavor questions. Um, Magic just as Richard Garfield intended. I don't know if Richard Garfield ever expected people to attack with three two unblockable lands out of their blue-black deck, but you know. But Cadaver, you have a good question. I don't... I don't really see it as a comeback thing. <coughs> Ugh. Probably should Snapcaster terminate in response. Yeah. Uh, God, this is annoying. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna Snapcaster terminate this devoted droid in response. Um, it can get a little weird because of extra copies of Renegade Rallyer and whatnot. Um, the reason for wanting to do it now in response is that I can't realistically interact with it if they do hit the other part of the combo. 
It, it could be possible they only play one Vizier. I've seen a lot of these lists that only play one Vizier, but I've also seen some that play three and four. Should probably do more homework. All right, they had a Renegade Rally and a Spell Skite. So I assume the Renegade Rallyer is going to go get back. So they don't have any Insane 2, so I assume they're just getting a Druid back, unless they... Oh, they have a Dust Quash. Eh, not really concerned with that. Yeah, not super concerned with that. Can dismantle all this nonsense. <laughs> They're at seven? Seven's not a big number. Could pop out recent events box, it makes it easier. Oh, I have a window open that says Streamlabs. Where'd it go? Um, what do they just do? They attack both their guys at JCJs? Um, I think I'd rather Jace be gone trade for Duskwatch, so we'll do that. <coughs> Bye, Jace. You did a great service for us today. Okay, so they do have extra Viziers. Oh, they drew another Duskwatch. Okay. So let's go ahead and shatter and discard probably. Oh, I can do two damage here because the two damage actually result. Oh no, they've got birds. I was I was right the first time. So discard, shatter. Want the visitor out of their hand. Good luck redirecting a discard. Sorry, I have Streamlabs open now and I can't see the chat. Just trying to have six here and attack with Creepy Tar Pit. <coughs> it's a possibility it's correct to just terminate there and go for the win next turn, but I also just didn't want to die. Maybe I'm playing too scared today. Yeah, we probably wanted Snapcaster back. Probably should play a lot better and play around things like ghost quarters off the top and pay any attention to what I'm doing, but <laughs> just get back a company. Yeah, I did not play that turn well. Good call, Lucas. Or not Lucas. Oh, did I have eight mana too? Jesus, I am really stupid. Alright. Yeah, we're just not playing well. That was a really, 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 really horrific turn where I was just trying to win the game with creepy tar pit. Sorry. Yeah, I probably punted the game. Definitely punted the game. Maybe we'll get rewarded. Because I don't deserve it. Maybe we'll just get rewarded. That was good. Glad I didn't get rewarded. Uh, I'm done. So we get for not paying attention. Whoopsies. Yeah, I don't think I have anything left. I might have a mountain. Kill this guy, go. Yeah, I'm done. My bad, everybody. Ooh, nice. That's a football player for everybody. That's gas. Yeah, I'll hold it. <coughs> Somebody that was not me would have won this game. <laughs> that guy's really good. Thanks, Holy. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it, man. All right, well, I'm dumb and punted. Sorry, everybody. All right, we got five minutes, so we're going to have to probably play a lot faster. <coughs> All right, it seems the thought seasons are also actually good here. Definitely like the angers. Pushes actually seem pretty medium. The spell snare seems pretty medium. Probably want one position, two thoughts these. Let's try that. I think that they were just clicking draw a card. Um Yeah, if you're looking for something that can take advantage of the tap mode, maybe there's a version of fairies that I haven't looked at. Um, I wonder if there's a thoughtsies turn in one hand. 
Looks, looks kind of like a thought so he's turned one hand. Birds, Duskwatch, Spellskite, four lands. Um, God. I think I just want to take Duskwatch and leave them with all their nonsense. Hopefully pick up a different spell. Scavenging is perfect. <laughs> the tarp it tapped. <laughs> oh dear god, what happened here? Alright, the Drone Noble, sure. Um, probably just kill the Noble, make them discard a Heath. I don't think I really need to kill Spellskite. Maybe I do. I could just double. Let's do this. See if we hit anything. I just pass and just fetch a scene event, so let's guard myself on the end step. Yeah, that's better. Because <laughs> <coughs> I'd like to use the recur mode on K command. Yeah, welcome to the party. Another noble, sure. Alright, so we can get the last card out of their hand here. Let's get ourselves a steam vents. Let's get ourselves, we go to 10. Could always just find an anger. <laughs> Ooh, task away. Yeah, that would have been a good reason to actually like pay attention to what was going on. I guess it wouldn't have really mattered on this board. Same thing's gonna end up happening, but like I missed 4 damage. But I'd rather their land out of their hand, because their last card's a land. I think I'd rather my Jace in my hand, so let's go ahead and get that guy back. Uh, return target creature, destroy target artifact, you and you. We'll go to 8 here. <laughs> Alright, Tassigoyf. We don't have many lives to work with. Leaving as many spells as possible for this version of the deck rather than the other version of the deck where you're just going to activate a tasker a lot. Later, Danny. Have fun. Welcome to the party. Funny. Fetch a plane. So they drew a renegade earlier? No, oh, Jesus. They drew a company? Less than ideal. Okay. Also less than ideal. I really just like to draw an anger and win the game on the spot. That'd be kind of awesome. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Alright, expect my opponent. Oh, they can't actually activate the... Um... Yeah, I should actually kill that now, as weird as it is. Uh, sure, you discard and kill your Duskwatch. Yeah, I'm still going to get hit two for the air for the birdie, but that's perfectly fine. We just need to make sure we don't get hit for a million by the vizier. Three minutes left. I think I have enough time here. All right, Jace, time to do, time to do what you were made for. Um, what do we want to do? We want a K command? No, we want to. I guess we do want a K command. I guess I should have discarded Jace for paying attention again, but. Um, there's bird, kill bird. Sorry, but I'm not playing very well. I will try to play better in the next round, but... Certainly not playing very well right now. I definitely should have discarded the Jace, picked up the Jace, and just, like, not focusing very well. Alright, so they have infinite mana. Thankfully, I don't do anything with infinite mana, so I don't really care. Bolt. Um, let's plus this Jace, kill our Jace off, break them up off infinite mana. Yeah. So plus on a noble. 
Yeah, plus on a noble. Loot. Uh, discard Tassiger. Keep the five. K command. Return Jace. Blow up Devoted Druid. Bolt Vizier. Playland. Crack land. Go to four. Get an island. Play JC Jace. Shit back. <laughs> Alright, I think we've successfully done the dismantling of all our opponent's resources. We just need to, like, fade, like, an eternal witness, renegade rally, or kind of nonsense turns. <coughs> Alright, what I was just saying, we needed to fade. Enough mana to cast it too. Alright, it's annoying. <laughs> UPS, my dudes. You're silly, man. We don't play music here. Ain't about that life. You could request a song, though. I'm not gonna stop you. Alright, plus any witness. Um, I don't really see a reason to loot. Like, I could loot there, discard Jace, flashback on Terminate. Which doesn't all seem all de ideal, but... Question is, do I let this resolve Richard or loot into Snapcaster? Oh, if I was going to loot, I should have done a response to fetch line. Gosh darn it. Um, Alright, well, whatever. I don't have enough time to think about it, I just need to... Go, go, go. Yeah, sad, we might. <coughs> Alright, so they have infinite mana. I think I'm gonna let them untap with infinite mana. I have to respond to that or I'm dead, right? Yeah, because I get back Dog Swatch. Alright, that's annoying. Alright. Yeah, I have to too many times. I should have won all three of those games for paying attention. Alright, my bad, guys. Sorry. Sorry about that, my bad. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Alright, I screwed that up on a really bad way. Um, if I were playing even remotely correctly game two, we would have won very easily by going K Command, uh, Shatter Your Spell Sky, buy back my Snappy, Snapcaster, on the following turn, look to block a creature. Uh, you can leave them with the Devoted Druid in hand, look to block a creature, buy back Snapcaster, kill another creature. Next turn, Snapcaster, K Command, uh, shock them and discard a card or kill one of their other creatures attack with the tar pit turn after minus jason bolt bolt them um, basically should have been able to win that game every single way except for the way i played it i assume <coughs> yeah damn the decks are really good we should have won all three games though that's the annoying part i did not play very well sorry about that all right annoying creeping tar pit being our our land here but it's okay Flooded Strand. Flooded Strand's usually blue-white control. We'll lead on the Tar Pit, because if it is blue-white control, we're likely going to want to go Thought Season 2, get it countered, Snapcaster, Thought Season 3. Alright, so this is just Esper then? The Esper control deck with the weird nonsense glory about this shit? Alright, well, what do you actually have? Archi oh, you're in the mill deck. Alright, well, I don't have any fetch land, so joke's on you. Um, so if I don't take their surgical, they can surgical my thoughts season when I try to snapcaster it. I 
Fatal Push I'm not too concerned about. Just make sure our guy track is, yeah, third opponent surged. So I think I'm probably going to take Surgical here. And then I'm going to look to Snapcaster your thoughts. He's on the Archive Trap. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, the fact that Surgical also shuffles me. Good call. Does not sound like the most fun ever. All right, well, I don't really need a Steam Vents given all of that. So let's Island. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice fetch land. Don't care. I think the matchup was actually reasonable for them. Oh, God. Liliana? Hello. All right, so I don't have a second black yet, but Liliana is, like, just such a dumpster for them that I think I'm going to top it anyways. Yeah, I'm still going to top her. She's just so good in this matchup. <coughs> well, I don't want to draw a six land. I will expect to draw a six land. Alright, and let's go for Snappy Thoughtseize. <laughs> we have a legit one mana task here in this matchup. Fact. Tasker always costs one man on this matchup. If it doesn't, you've got some serious issues on one side or the other. Sure, you can fatal push my creature. I didn't want it anyways. What you got? Oh my god, stop it. I want to seize all of your thoughts. Alright, you drew another fatal push. Fatal push archive trap polluted delta. Oops. Alright, well they have a fatal push also. Sorry, I accidentally clicked it out of the dismiss all area. That's a good question, Sam. <coughs> yes, time walk. We thought scour them in this matchup. <laughs> Drew the tap black source. Funny. All right, thought scour you. All right, I don't really want to fetch. Ooh, I don't really want to fetch. They already have the land. Kind of rather than just spend the fifteen million mana for it. Because it gets it out of their hand. How many lands do I have actually have left of this fetches? We got two water graves and a blood crypt. They hit all of them. Yeah, I'd rather Dark Slick Shore. Screw it. <coughs> okay, so they drew a swamp for turn. Ooh, K command. That'll be good later. All right, Lily, get in there and start discarding lands from both players. All right, I'll discard my fetch land. Play steam vents. They discarded their land. They should archive trap us. We'll go to 33 cards left in our library. All right, what do we get? Do we get any good creatures to occur? Ooh, we did. No, oh, we do have snappy still because the snappy still in our graveyard. All right, what do you got now? Mine funerals. It's the mill until I hit four lands or something. Yeah. They hit 16 cards. That's a lot of cards. That is, in fact, a lot of cards. Holy moly. All right. That's a lot of cards. Um. Let's see here. My plan is to likely K command back snap, and we're just going to do K command loops for a while. Um, I guess we should. Oops. Card. How do you spell glimpse? Glimpse? I don't know. Nope, that's not right. Oh, nice. God, they have autocorrect inside Twitch. Alright, here we go. It is a sorcery. Good. All right. Good to know. <coughs> I'm discard the terminate. Just hold on the extra lily. All right. So in their draw step, return target creature. We choose Snappy Do. Hopefully, it didn't draw Surgical because that would suck. Hopefully, draw another Mind Funeral. Taste it. Blue Delta. Lame. All right. Oh, more snappy dudes. 
All right, let's Lily discarding Lily. We just want to emblem on them next turn, likely killing some number of their lands, I think. Because I don't think they're getting another draw step, realistically. All right. Snapcaster in the upkeep, target a K command. Hit OK. Hit OK. They go to draw step. Return a creature. Let's see. This time we want a Tassiger. So we need the fastest clock. Make them discard. <coughs> Ooh, I love it when it says it's looking at my hand. Alright, well, they drew another land, so that sucks for us. Alright, so I assume they're going to keep a three card pile. Is there any three card pile? I can keep Watergrave, Watergrave, Swamp in a pile. I don't know what the white does for them. I don't know what the white does for them. <coughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I certainly don't need this Lily anymore, so I'm going to emblem her. You, you sack a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to separate piles, water grave, water grave, swamp, just kill these two white lands. Oh, it's just white for path? Okay. Oops, not snappy. We don't need snappy. Asagoyf, Exile, basically random nonsense. Thank you, Snappy Doo. Upkeep, flashing our boy. K command. I do not have another friend, right? No. Um, I guess I should shock them run, right? Because it's 8, it'd be 13. Just draw into a bolt. Yeah. Alright. No, I do not want to return a creature. Silly thing. You and you. <coughs> oh, no. Visions? Good lord. All right, that went badly. I just wish I had my Lily now. All right, let's not scour them again. All right, good, we found the bolt. So if we fade a fatal push, which they don't have many left, they are dead to this bolt. All right. I was going to say, we have another bolt left, so. <coughs> Tight one. A little scary. Yeah, path makes some sense. Path certainly makes sense. All right, we want our surgicals, all our counter spells. Good boarding creatures. Like Cryptic Serpent, somebody was saying. Who needs Tumor Battle Rage? Yeah, I mean, my opponent's at 13. It's not like they're at 50. <sighs> 29 for Tumor Battle Rage. I love how I'm having... People just tell me his fault. Glimpse is great. Uh, ador adorable. <laughs> it's kind of deck that could just become nuts the printing of a new card. Yeah, I mean, it could. So I'm like, our card trap's real nice. Alright, we have to go to a billion cards, so. Definitely don't want those. I'm kind of into just cutting all the silly removal. I'm just saying, whatever, if you cryptic serpent me, like, I'll just lull you. <coughs> I 
Jakey Drake and Snake decks. Problem with Mill is that they essentially have the same strategy as Burn, but modern land bases do like one force of Burn's work for them. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, Wraith. Like, hell, even if you're playing one of these Death Shadow decks, like, does half the work for you, right? Like, the Death Shadow decks are literally trying to do like 12 damage themselves. If you guys burn, they have to learn how to be a lot safer. Cut all the fetch lands. Yeah, I mean, if they have Cryptic Serpent, whatever. I'll bring in the Fulminators probably on the play. What was that, Gkoro? He does indeed. Jace's Phantasm. Oh, they play Jace's Phantasm? Fine, we'll leave him two Terminates. Uh, we'll cut two Serum Visions, I guess. How about a Serum Visions and a Jace? So let's both draw cards. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I'm certainly keeping this hand. Alright, they have Leyline of the Void? Sure. <laughs> Hedron Crab. Good call on whoever said to leave in removal. I did forget about Hedron Crab. This guy was my boy back in draft. Was my boy. Oh, my life total's never under duress here, so let's... Oops, that's a snap catcher. I'd like to cast Serum Evidence. Um, perfectly fine. I've a million Scalding Tarn and this Jace. I'll leave the turn on top, given the opportunity to draw it. I wish I had not drawn the Snapcaster, though, obviously. I right, expect this to get milled. That's perfectly fine. <coughs> Did we not board up for 64 cards? We could have Delicious. I'm certainly open to the idea if we want to do it. Just didn't feel like we needed to. I think that's a fetch line is somewhat annoying. Hmm. Send the onuses on my opponent where they can just pass, pass, pass. Alright, whatever. Still gonna see them. Definitely don't want that. We'll leave this on top and we'll play the little dance. My opponent goes to crack their fetch land, we'll thought scour them. If they don't crack their fetch land, then we should hope they don't have a land. A little annoying, a little weird. Flame of the Void makes my opponent's um, visions from beyond way worse. It's a little surprising. My funeral. Alright, I'm probably going to surge call that in their draw step. You also boarding anything in attack? Yeah, I was talking about boarding in the Fulminators on the, draw, or on the play. Got a scalding turn, a thought season, a delta. Okay. Alright, in your draw step, let's get rid of these mind funerals. <coughs> Alright, so they have an ensnaring bridge, an archive trap, another ley line, it goes according to Shellock. I don't remember if surgical actually functions with this new technology, so let's actually get their hold back here. And we'll worry about that in a second. Get this out of here. Alright, so they have an Ashiok, the full set of traps, one Damnation, one Devour Flesh, four Ley Lines, four Glimpse, so they boarded down to three Visions. I didn't even know Shell Isle was legal in Modern. I guess I should have known that, because I think I played with this at the first Modern, or the first modern Masters Grand Prix. That's kind of sweet, though. I'm a big fan of card. Alright, a uh, bunch of nonsense, don't care. Alright, have fun. Do as you must. <laughs> Hopefully they just play bridge this turn. And then we get to Sulphur Falls. K command you. Kill your crabby dab. Target. Destroy target artifact. Two damage your creature. Get out of here. Get out of here. Taste it. <laughs> Yeah, Living End's an embarrassing deck. Swamp. Hmm. A little awkward against that Archive Trap in their hand. So what's their hand? We got this out of there. It's a Ley Line that they would instantly discard. A Ghost Quarter. 
So they can easily just activate Zark Card Drive whenever the hell they want. What lands do I still have left to fetch? I still have two of them with the Scalding Tarn. Alright, it's gonna look pretty stupid if we miss, but I think it's like pretty stupid to just not play our spells. Plus, look at all these dead cards we have in our hands. Alright. Okay, so they didn't go for it, which is a little surprising to me. I think I would have gone for it there if I were them. So, it makes me wonder if they drew a negate or something. I guess I could just have negate anyways, but... I'm gonna discard a 6 mana 4-5. Would you like to discard a Leyline of the Void? Good choice, good choice. Alright, so we're gonna go down to 23 cards here. <coughs> yeah, delicious. I'm gonna slam double snaps, I think, on the next turn. There's 20 or fewer cards remaining in the library, right? There's 20 or fewer cards in it. Position's an interesting draw. What do we remember them having? We know of a ghost quarter. So we can assume Inquisition's probably not doing anything at this point, so I'm going to just discard it, I think. Two cards left until we get to cast a free spell. It's probably a glimpse. I'm just going to discard Inquisition. Look to slam two Snapcasters here and start pikering them. Alright, so they have Ghost Quarter as the last card. Unless this Ghost Quarter was played the turn they bridged and I just wasn't paying attention. Might be the case. If it is, whatever. Alright, they played on an island. I think if they ghost quarter me, I'm not gonna search. I think I'm just gonna let it be strip mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not casting that, that's for sure. Is it 20 or fewer, or is it fewer than 20? It's 20 or fewer, alright. So we're gonna miss out on our lily by one turn. It's unfortunate. Hopefully I'm not going to just like damnations my snapcasters or something. Alright, so path. I think I don't search. I think I just need them to have to use the shell lock this coming turn. So I think I hit no to this. <coughs> Mountain Swamp. Okay, still doing my island left. Else on two is almost game. One is pretty inconvenient. Right, so they drew a delta. It'd be really bad if this damnation ever out of the snapcaster mage. It'd feel kind of silly. I think I can win this game through a glimpse for sure. <laughs> um, can I beat an archive trap? It's close. Yeah, screw it. Whatever, it's damnation. I can find more stupid things to attack with. No. Yeah. Alright. Um. <laughs> Let's do this first. I think it's correct to do this first. I'm not actually sure. <coughs> sure, what you got? Yep, alright. That's what I thought it was. That's good. I can beat that card. Alright, so let's put... Ghost Quarter, Godless Shrine... What if we do this? I guess my other idea would be put the three duels in the same pile. This might be better. This is probably slightly better, actually. I'd expect them to keep the three-card pile. <coughs> <coughs> I 
Much better. All right, good. I didn't know if I got to the right piles. Did they draw a fatal push? That's fine. I mean, he's not great, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, I thought he'd get out of here. Get him, Snappy. Go, little Snappy, go! Ah, he didn't grab! Uh, that's bad. <laughs> Stupid Tasker. I don't think I can kill them in time anymore, but may as well find out. Whoever suggested the 64 cards, you were a couple cards off of being correct. 63 would have been good enough. Or at least it appears that way. Oh, I'm really stupid. I have a graveyard again. Holy crap, I'm dumb. Alright, well... Hello, friends. I'm paying attention. There's a little one of the void gone. I just, I just realized it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I realized it. We have exactly one more turn to wait. I'm sorry. I figured it out. I'm, I'm really good at paying attention today. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're just gonna exact these them. Or not. <laughs> God damn it! I'm so dumb. Uh, justice. Pure and beautiful justice. Uh, yup. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, sorry everybody. I will try to pay attention. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't really want to look at chats, probably. Corver could have made that mistake. But Corver could have good. <laughs> Yeah, Charles, I'm sorry I wasn't paying any attention. It was bad. I played badly, and I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, whoever wanted to board up cards, sure, we'll board up 62. Up to 66? Well, no, then we're just gonna have land issues. There's an imposter on Twitch? Thanks, pal. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Should have activated Tasker first. That would have been a sweet fly. You got any cards to build? You wanna go back to Snapcaster or Snapcaster? <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Sorry. Why you hate me? Jen, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know why I hate you. I never said that I hate you. I don't think I even hate you. That's the best part. Oh, yeah. Real. That was a literal punt. That, that is literally not realizing that my blue-black-red deck made it to kill an enchantment. Not well, which I even took a nap this morning. Like, I woke up at, like, 6.45 or 7, and then went back to sleep at, like, 7.45 or 8, and then woke back up at, like, 10.30. Corey's just not focused. He's just not playing well. Maybe I don't want any of these slot scours. That sounds believable to me. Oh, why am I bringing Fatal Push? Stupid bolts get over here. Alright, we'll do 62. <laughs> yeah, don't come what happens. Thanks, Aisha. Uh, that was bad. I'm gonna keep and not like it very much. Yeah, 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 whatever. What you got? Damnation, three lands, mine, funeral, path. Alright, we'll leave you with path, damnation. Nonsense. <coughs> we'll be able to fetch pretty safely with our dispel open, which will be nice. right now because at least likely they have uh, the nonsenses if they do we'll counter it <laughs> alright 
correctly holding their fetch land for more crabos. Ooh, hello, JVP. All right, JVP. You're going to die a horrible death to a path to exile, but you will serve a greater purpose. Your service will be remembered. Your friends and family will love you. <coughs> Farewell, friend. And one island. No, I want a swamp. Swamp it is. See, they're just afraid of those merfolk leaders. Yeah, I don't want to mulligan into a threat. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Ghost quarters. That was not one of the cards I knew about. Line funeral. All right. Well, I don't have many lands left in my deck, so there's probably gonna be like 14 cards. Holy shit, that's a lot of cards. Two, five, seven, nine, eleven, eighteen cards. That's two Lilianas, two Tassigers, both counter squalls. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I think I just cracked the delta immediately. <laughs> I have an island and a steam vents left in there. So I could still fetch, so that's useful to know about. Flooded strand. Okay, so we didn't know about that one. All right, Jace, we need you to eat a damnation for us. Preferably not a path or a fatal push. <coughs> I just don't think that a Snapcaster on average is going to be good enough to just, you know, quote-unquote clock them with. I'm just saying my 7 was great. I think it's a certain keep, though. All right, Jace, we need to find some new cards. I didn't say more Jaces, I just said some new cards. All right, the Delta has fewer cards to find in the turn. Uh, I don't want to fetch right now. Kind of do. Yeah, I'm going to. Mostly because I know one of the cards in my opponent's hand. <laughs> yep, alright, sweet. <coughs> Two delta doesn't have a damnation up there still. Six cards left in my library after we loot here. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go to their upkeep, and I think we're just gonna try to discard them twice here. I expect them to discard a land of this path. Okay, then we're gonna get their damnation out of the way. All right, game on. Loot away a thought scour. Yeah, I don't particularly want thought scour. All right, there we go. Fifteen. Twenty-four cards. This is close. I think I'm a slight dog to win right now, but. They were F6 and then on F6. Interesting. All right, I'm going to attack with both and then Thoughtseize, I think. 
I guess I just also don't know what my thoughts he's gonna get. Maybe just like an extra damnation that came in. Definitely not searching. I'd just rather have more cards in my library, I think. Two basics to fetch. I only have one Colgon's command left, also. Yeah, no. I just thought these didn't actually do anything here. What what sorcerer could they have drawn that they would not have cast? Let's look at their list. They would have cast Ashiok. The only thing I can think of right now is Devour Flesh as an instant. I guess it could be a Visions from Beyond. It just seems like that card has to be a land. Seems like it's gotta be a land. Yeah, I think I'd rather loot into a Tassiger. Fair enough. Uh. <coughs> All right, fine. I'll cast it. Just I don't. I don't think it can really be a spell. Yeah, it's a water grave. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Sure. Well, there's the visions. There's the hideaway land. That's bad. Well, it's going off anyways, this game, so we may as well just keep digging for, like, fulminators. Surgical and Lily. It's too late for Lily. Surgical looks too bad here also. <coughs> Digitac. I just hope this is a glimpse. You don't grab, so I can get milled for 3, 6, 9, 12 right now. Wait, they? Okay. Alright, those are good mills for me. Whenever a permanent untaps, that permanent's controller. Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember this card now. Get out of here. Not in my watch. Fifteen, I'd get milled for nine. Creepy tar put puts him on a two turn clock after this turn. Yeah, that's the plan if we can get there, Betancourt. The problem is that I just don't know that we can actually get there. Like I think we might need the tar pit. Like if I lay the tar pit out, attack for two. Like I think they're just likely to untap and move from there. It's like the tarpet clock like, takes off so many turns off the clock, whereas... <laughs> yeah, I think I have to do this. <coughs> yep. Sure. Yep. The hope here is that they they go score to themselves. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, so they milled over our last K command, our last Fulminator. So I think this tar pit's our last threat. I'll have to actually like pay attention and look next turn. It's all three bolts. Oh, they drew something. Oh, they drew an Ashiok? That's really bad. Well, I have to attack that now. Oh, that's really good. I 
All right, so these two guys attack Ashiok. We know the next card of our library is a Lily. Okay. Ashiok, Ashiok. Kills Ashiok, play Tar Pit. And if they brick, we win. If they don't, then we lose. So let's hope they brick. Bang cost. Bang cost is bad. Um, let's see if it's a fatal push or a path. It's the exact same thing to attack with both as this to play Lily. Except for I just actually have the opportunity to win if they don't have anything. So we should definitely attack. So this works. Alright, sweet. It works. Alright, do you ever suggest we're boarding up to 64? 62 is good enough again! <coughs> what would you say, Sassy? What did I miss? Sorry, I was just so focused on A, trying to not time out, and B, not trying to play horrifically again. I don't think I played horrifically that game. Ooh. How is it already 5 o'clock? We've only played 4 matches. I guess I've almost timed out in 2 of them. Uh, well, we're sure technically the 61 was good enough, yes. <coughs> I, I thought about it, Zem. Uh, Wizard, yeah, we're trying out a Jace Fringe Prodigy version. JVP is not the most effective at uh, casting counter spells. Uh, so yeah, we've got some Discard and some Lilianas, and uh, some Jace Fringe Prodigies in place of our usual counter spells, Sweet and Ancestrals. We're just trying it out. Yeah, Charles, you were telling me you were crushing it. It was sick. Alright, Thoughts is your face. What's your face got? I guess I don't need to do this. Smash. Wow, they even have the nut? They have a double temple thought not hand? Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Alright, temple, muta vaults, strangler, smasher, push. This game's gonna be difficult to beat. <laughs> Taking bell nuts here because I can't really handle a threat coming down next turn. I think I have a little bit of time to find a, uh, a terminate with Delta fetching the land and they got two thought scours as redraws. Also, there's the opportunity to draw my other thought saves. You know this guy, G. Cora? Oh, yeah, Big Blue. Snap, cap, and dap. Uh, and wasn't close. Um, Alright, let's thought scour ourselves. Found Snappy. Didn't know over any of our red sources. Uh, I guess I'm going to fetch a tap red source this turn. Taking a million ball. <coughs> the only thing this does badly is that I can't, like, Thought Scour into a Serum Visions, into a Terminate. But 
will put me to 12 instead of 10, which I think is important. Because I think I'm likely to take two hits off this Smasher. Alright, welcome to the table, Smasher. Um, yeah, I'll just get... Just get Steam Vents, because if I draw Lily, it's the same thing, because they have their Mutable tapped right now. Alright, Lily. We'll accept Lilies. Hi, JVP, how are you? Come on, big money! Terminate. Yes. Yes. Doing it. So good. So good. God, that was great. Alright, so they played that and that. Is there a reason to kill their guy now? No, I'd rather them not have full information. God, that was great. That felt really good. Oh yeah, delicious waffles. Truly blessed. <coughs> yeah, double temple, double mutavault. Lucky. What's it like? I was really hoping they tapped the summoning second one. <laughs> God, I hope next turn they just animate both the mutavaults. God, that'd be great. Hi, Tarpit. I miss you. I miss you just like Tarpit. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. No. No. Alright, well, we're back to trailing. Oh, hello. Yay. God, the swings in these games are just unreal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's when you know it's going badly. Oh no, they found a black source? That's not good. Goodbye, friend. That was a bad time for them to draw a black source for me. That's bad. So I'm just dead on the board right now. So I get a four this turn, and then... I should be dead, because I found a black source. That sucks. I'm trying to think of any outs. I had to draw Fatal Push? Yeah, I'll draw Fatal Push. Probably favor draw Fatal Push. Alright, I didn't draw Fatal Push. The problem is if I don't play my Delta, they know... So I have to snapcast or terminate right now. Yeah, I have to snapcast or terminate right now. Then they get to fatal push. Attack with three. I don't think I have any outs either way, right? No, I don't. That sucks. That sucks, because they fatal push my Snapcaster if I have to do it, because we determined I have to do it main phase. Um, not that that matters, and they just animate their team into bolts and kill me. Rip. Rip a Rooney. That sucks, though, we're going to come back and win that game. <laughs> not trolling anymore, well, wisher. Yeah, the swings of that game are pretty unreal. Alright, get our damnation in there. So the white black version like before. On the draw, bring in some angers. Spell snare, same idea. Uh, I do want the extra call grounds command. The Inquisition seem pretty poor. Officer removal seems fine. I do like the fatal pushes that can actually hit the the smashers. I do like all my instant speed removal. They had that in mind, or what does STH stand for? Uh, GK Koro, or G Koro. Um, Mero, I think that this version's like perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. It's a version that I like, I mean, I do like this version. I think that it's probably like the third best of the three versions of Grixis that you may see me play on the stream between Death Shadow, 
Cryptic Command version and this JSTRANS Prodigy version. Um, I was planning on streaming both this and the JSTRANS Prodigy version, but it's already like 5. I do need to get things done today. So I probably will stream later on in the week um, and we'll get some Cryptic Commando action in for those that are missing their fix of Cryptic Tap Your Team draw cards and the nonsense of that nature. I only want to get so much worse because they have access to Mutable. Yeah, Dokumai, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Yeah, Val, I could play the, the Death Shadow version. I'm not above it. I'm probably not going to play it at a tournament, just because it's like, everyone does it. I'm just not in the... I, I don't like being different for being different sake, but I think that, like, I have a good enough plan against the Death Shadow versions, people have enough practice against Death Shadow, that I think I get enough equity playing the Crypto Command versions, and keeping people guessing on, like, what are my two to three-ish cards that I've been moving around the past few days. God, this is all the Jaces. It's like, the Jaces are worse, too. I just don't really want these cards on the draw, though. Alright, let's try... Eh, that sounds bad, also. Yeah, I'm just gonna play four Jaces and just try not to get got. <coughs> yeah, I don't love Grixis Shadow. I think the deck's sweet. Like, it's probably the best deck, but not my cup of tea. Oh, I, I freaking love Grixis Life, of course. Ew. Sulfur Falls, why are you so ugly? I mean, I'm not mulliganing, but why you gotta do me like that, Sulfur Falls? It's not cool. Why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> Squirrel loot. Yeah, big blue. 10 out of 10. The, 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 the Sulfur Falls has been real bad in this version of the deck. Uh, G. Carl, I do, yes. I think that, like, all of the versions of Death Shadow are close, but I think that uh, you want to be on either white or blue. I think white or blue cover enough of your bases between Stubborn Denial and Snapcaster Mage, or, uh, like, Stony Silence Renegade Rallyers. <coughs> oh, that's good. <coughs> I like these cards. <laughs> Oddly enough, the... I guess I want both of these, good lord. I guess I would prefer to the Steam Vents first, oddly enough. Weird. No, that's not true. That's not true. Don't care. I hope I put those in the right order. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're playing against White Black Eldrazi. Uh, cards we saw from them in the first game. Two Temples, two Muta Vaults, Caves of Coilos, Fatal Push, Wasteland Strangler, two Eldrazi, or Thought Nuts Ears, and one... Oh, crap. Inquisition. Alright, well now I wish I'd kept them in the other order. <laughs> Don't I look silly? Whatever, I'll spend my Sulfur Falls. Probably will actually thought scour. Oh, what the hell? Don't worry, dude. I got more where that came from. You can kill my Jace. That's perfectly fine. I'll just go get him back. <laughs> also of note, Damnation. Much better in the graveyard than in your hand. Much safer place for it. Sort of fatal push, my guy. Sure. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, do we want a Thought Scare on our upkeep? Because now we don't want that land very much. Yeah, I prefer a blind draw to that draw. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. <coughs> and have the temple for the Thought Nuts here, too. Oh, no, it's another Inquisition for a Snapcaster. You gotta, you gotta calm down over there, opponent. It's a lot this card. <laughs> Isn't this deck bad? 
I think Black White Eldrazi is a perfectly fine deck. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's bad. Um, yeah, I'll just play this line tapped. <coughs> I know this is a deck that I wish I did a static cast from my sideboard for. Because they usually bring in Lingering Souls. And Lingering Souls is really good against the list that I submitted. <laughs> Alright, bye bye Graveyard. Nice knowing you. All my opponent's Wasteland Stranglers are online. Ooh. Hello, Mama. I think I'm actually playing Lily and just discarding this fail push. <coughs> I guess I could play around Smasher because I did just draw a sixth land. Oh, that just sounds so boring. Alright, whatever. Hopefully I have a Smasher. No, don't be a Thought Knots here. So Thought Knots here, I'm probably just going to let it resolve. Probably not terminate in response. Just let whatever happens happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to let whatever happens happens. Assume they take my Lily. I wonder if all the Inquisitions are more or less likely to have more Smashers. Probably less. Probably like two. Yeah, maybe that was dumb. Maybe it was dumb. It was probably dumb. Whatever. We're just gonna draw Jason win the game. Hey, what's up, Jace? Alright. Let's use this to serum. Ooh, Tassiker. Alright, so now they have Wasteland Strangler. <coughs> they have Wasteland Strangler, they get to eat Jace. It's like not great, but not horrible. I don't even want to just like loot away this fatal push because I don't really want it anymore. All those called shots, NBD. NBD. Oh, I guess I don't want to have sex. Dismember your Jace. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't need Fatal Push Up. I do want both these cards in my graveyard because I want a great card if I draw a Snapcaster and I want a great card if I draw one of my 2k commands that are left because I boarded up to four. Seems it's getting pathed. Yep. Um, so I did put a land on the bottom, but I do want another mountain, so I will search. <coughs> Alright, so I'd say we're slightly at Ooh, that's better than slightly ahead now. Probably just discard Fatal Push here. My opponent's going to be highly incentivized to play to the board here. So, there's damnation whatever they play and just keep flossing the lolly. But I assume their hand's just a bunch of removal. Apparently one of them is a basic swamp. <laughs> Why play tap out Grixis? What's up, troll? The elite troll? Oh, did they draw a smasher? Jesus. Alright, alright, alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, new follower. Who'd we get? Dang it, we drew a land. That sucks. Alright, well, okay, I'm just gonna blow this. I just want this out of my hand. I don't want to get thought on seared. Ooh, gotta scroll up. Care Beast! What's up, Care Beast? How you doing? <coughs> uh, delicious waffles. Yeah, this deck's even more susceptible to graveyard hate than the usual version. I'm going to play the fetch land in case for another fatal push. Infamous battle of who will draw something great first. 
K commands are best draw. I assume my opponent's best draw is probably Lingering Souls. I guess Relic into Lingering Souls might be better. They have Relic. <coughs> I guess Relic into Thought Knots here would be better. Surgical Extraction targeting Fatal Push. That resolves. So I assume they have a Thought Monster they want to resolve here, or some, like, delicate threat. <coughs> Makes it easier to just crack both these Polluted Deltas to exile my Fatal Pushes. I guess I only have one land. I have one Steam... Oh, no, I've got one Steam Vents left. And one basic island. All right. You should probably tap the temples. Relic, sure. Just tap the caves. You can do it. Believe in you. <laughs> yeah, well, wish we used to have Fatal Push. And now they're gone. Beautiful. All right, it's a little annoying. So be a good time to draw another one of those Tassigers, because we're going to have a lot of mana. Alright, go to 18, get some lands out of our library. 29 cards, 28 cards left. Alright, 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 here we go. Not bad, not bad. How many JVPs do we have left? Three, two, one. One left. <coughs> alright, I'm still going to hold the land in my hand for a turn. If they get my opponent jams of the Muna Vault, I'll probably kill to make him discard a land. Thought sees me. Alright, whatever. Shock you and make you discard. You can see a water grave. Uh, Tokamoy, it's pretty medium, yeah. Alright, so they discarded a pass. So I'd expect their last card to be Fatal Push or Dismember. Alright, let's draw a Snapcaster. Snap, caster. Snap, caster, mage. Tasker. Tasker's good. And leave up four. <coughs> Alright, again, I'm expecting this Tasker to not be on the battlefield when the turn ends. As expected. It's not. Opponent was kind enough to do it at the beginning of combat, so if we mill over Serum Visions or a Thought Scour, we can cast it. Sweet. I will certainly shock myself to cast it. Um, I don't have any basics left to search for, so I won't. Um, let's go to 14. Send it back their way. Part of the reason I shock myself there is I think it's just important to turn through my library more so than it is like the two damage I don't think is likely to be relevant, but there's something to be said where it's just like you already have eight lanes in play, you're probably okay. Lingering Souls, that's pretty bad. It was the worst possible card for me to see. And I milled over two great cards, so one bad card now because the souls. Yeah, that's bad. Alright, that's good. Okay. Four, five, nine. Draw step K command, get back the Snapcaster. Yeah. <sighs> I'd have to play the Scalding Turn, crack it for no value. Yeah, that doesn't seem fantastic. I'm gonna go to nine. Yeah, alright, we're just gonna pass. I'm gonna discard rebuy and then see what they do from there. If they animate Mutavault, I'm gonna probably kill Mutavault and buy back. No, I'll kill Snap or kill a Spirit. Because they shouldn't be able to attack with Mutavault, because I can just get back Snapcaster again. Alright, so we need to face a surgical draw this turn. That would be really embarrassing. 
Such a generous opponent. Yeah, they were a little nice about it. Noble opponents. Alright, what they discard? Hopefully it's a Reality Smasher. A Relic. Alright, Relic's also good for us to get out of their hand. Alright, here our hope is they animate Munivolt and attack. Because then we'll Snapcaster, K Command, block, let our Snapcaster die. Okay, so this is going to end well, pretty well for us. We'll be at a little bit of a lower life total than I'd want, but... I do not like this play from our opponent. Because now we get to guarantee that our Snapcaster dies. And we get to Snapcaster loop again. So I think this play is pretty bad for my opponent. As it just gives me more ways to turn through these souls than I have access to in my deck. Because again, I didn't realize until match 1 or 2 that we didn't have a Static Caster in the board. Alright, block... Go to 10. <coughs> they flash back some souls. We kill a soul. We get back snappy. Yes. Turn target creature. Blast your spirit. And we'll probably just main phase the next... Cast Snapcaster, K Command, Kill a Spirit, play Tassiger, because we just need to get out of the board. With them at 13 life, we can actually outrace two, two spirits pretty effectively. Uh, now, whether or not we can erase the top of their deck in two spirits, that's a different story. To be fair, but I've never seen the play from anyone, but if you snap target K Command, trade Snap. That's fair, Well Wisher. Yeah, it, it doesn't come up often, because um, this deck doesn't really get into combat often. <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, shouldn't bash the opponent. Thank you. I'm sorry. We won't do that. Alright. Snappy K command. Turn target creature. Deal two damage to a spirit. And then exile the remaining graveyard to cast our friend. Alright. Back where we started. <coughs> so our opponent doesn't hit like a path or dismember this turn. It's in pretty good shape. Relic's a sweet redraw. Yeah, well, what's your it? Like, when you see that, you're like, okay, hold on, slow down. What can you do again? Um, oh god, Zem, it would be way, way different. Um... Yeah, the game would just, it would just be a different game, really. Black and one. That scares me a little bit. I don't know what this is. Really hope it's not a displacer. I also just realized I'm out of color grounds commands. <laughs> well, what's your, yeah, exile your own graveyard. <coughs> Collective brutality, okay. So now we're racing a four, five versus one ones. I'm on a five turn clock and they're on a four turn clock. That was a bad draw. Alright. Come on, big money! A lightning bolt and some snapcasters. Uh, I mill it again. Let's do it! Come on, big money! I guess I shouldn't do it yet. Uh, well, they're just going to attack. Whatever, whatever. Okay. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to cast the bolt first, because I might just want the... No, the snapcaster is obviously better. <laughs> Dumb comment was done. Opponent's going to attack. We're going to use Tassiger. Oh, it's an aggressive attack with both spirits there. Uh, using Tassiger here first because of... Oh, we had two thought seasons. That's not particularly the spell I wanted. <laughs> um, Fanfy goes back a Snapcaster. We know that we don't need to bolt one of these spirits. Now I have to figure out if I want to bolt one of these spirits. Um... The answer feels like it's supposed to be yes. Because it feels like for them to make this attack, they have to have to have drawn a very good spell, but if it's like a displacer, I need the bolt in my hand. So I think I'm going to take the two. I'm going to be really sad if they play out Lingering Souls in flashback. It's the wor absolute worst draw for me, as always, they drew Lingering Souls. Okay, they just drew a Thought Knot. I right, pulled one of these stupid spirits. So I took an extra damage I didn't need to, unfortunately, but... Thankfully, one of these, uh, these Thought Seasons is exiled. 
Also not down on the board. Ooh, Serum Visions. Well, milling with Tasker is not fantastic right here, so may as well thoughts get or do this. A bolt on top. What's left in our library here? We've gone through all three lilies, we've gone through all four K commands, we've gone through our damnation. This is our third Tassiger. This is two Snapcasters. We have one Snapcaster left, one Jace left. Yeah, Tomic, we have a little baby Jace in our deck. He's right here. He says hi. <laughs> Ten cards left in our library. <laughs> well, wisher. I'm just gonna remember you as, you as 61 cards guy. <coughs> hmm. I think I'm going to bottom both. Maybe I should have top both and thought scour myself, actually. That might have been better. That might have been better. Because I just have so few threats left. <laughs> Hello, baby Jace. There you are. You were the card I was hoping to draw the most. Alright, so baby Jace basically locks my opponent out if they can't kill it. Nine cards left. Um, I don't think any because I think they shuffled. We shuffled our library when we fetched that polluted delta to get our last basic most recently. I don't want to build this tasker anymore. All right, draw one of the other fetch lines that's remaining. There's creepy tar pit. Okay. So let's minus on the terminate. I'm gonna terminate this thought not seer out of the way. See what it finds us. Okay, found us the other snapcaster. So now we survive even if they draw a smatcher, because we can chump block and bolt the spirit. And we have lethal on the battlefield. So we'll attack your Tassiger. And if my opponent doesn't do anything, I'm going to Snapcaster Bolt and then swing with Snapcaster Tassiger and the Tar Pit. Alright, definitely taking this. Mostly because their best draw again to them looks like Lingering Souls. We can just Snapcaster Bolt them and then Tar Pit them. Yep, alright, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. That was a sweet game. Obviously, super stoked we won. The bolt. <laughs> the control end is near. Nah, control control's alive and well. Control is alive and well. This is a sweet game. That game was sweet. Uh, Betancourt, one, it's going to be 1-1 one, one after this combat phase. This is where you live for, Stu? Awesome. Uh, it does say turn 20 down there. It does say it was turn 20. Yeah, well, watch. I think we only knew about the two cards on the bottom. Let's see. There's the Terminate Serum. Yeah, so it was the, the only two cards we knew about were the Dark Six Shores and the Bolt. 
Unfortunately, I had a lot of fetches left. I guess I didn't even realize when I cracked those first two fetches, I was still at 20 life. <coughs> Alright, well... You gotta figure out what to do here, seeing as I don't have a static caster. I'm not gonna argue that my deck is optimally built. <laughs> Modern is turned four format. It's turned twenty. This <laughs> is a standard day in life. Some people play for turn four. Some people play for turn twenty. I like to play for turn thirty. <laughs> yeah, this for control is also sweet atomic. <coughs> I hope you're talking about uh, was it two or three weeks ago the uh, player playing four was it, I think it was four painful truths and they had four of the glory bound initiates. Modern has no interaction. Yeah. To play out a fetch of the option of shuffling our bolt. Yeah, well, Wisher, that's certainly an option. I should have definitely just played one of them out. Like, there was no way I was looting away three of them with a single Jace French Prodigy left. Especially when I had no K commands left, also. Um, Merrill, I think Rick's of Shadow might be the best deck in, in Modern right now. <laughs> yeah, Tom, like, that deck looked. It looked really bad to me. Um, KR Beast, I think that with the help of the discard, <coughs> that can be worth it. I'm not saying this is the, I, like, the ideal build or the ideal way to even build this version. Um, but I do think that even through a bunch of, of paths and dismembers and fatal pushes and lightning bolts and abrupt decays or whatever people may have, like, I think Jace is still a powerful enough card that I definitely want four of it in a deck like this. Yes, too. I am going to the team limited GPM, teaming with uh, Shuei Nakamura and Martin Yuza again. Uh, Dalyon, we're not going to stream with it tonight, but sometime during the next week, uh, we will definitely get in some streams with the Crypt Command version. You got three turn two kills. Do you have the amulet? Yeah. Well, Wisher, you just you just live in a different world than some of us. Some of us not like to have nice friendly games. I'm trying to figure out if this is to board in one surgical for their. There's lingering souls because I just don't really have ways to interact. Maybe this is a counter squall. Counter squall over a thought scour. That sounds bad. Over a bolt. That sounds better. Over a push. That sounds ideal. Yes, yes. Yeah, screw anger. Anger sucks. Oh, yeah, well, sure. That team is absurd. I don't know why Martin stuck his head on the line for me. Like, Shuhei didn't really know who I was. I'd never really talked to Shuhei much. Um, but Martin just said, yeah, I'm going to vouch for you. Like, after I had done a... Or I led our limited meeting for the Aether Revolt, despite 0-3 in the draft, which was embarrassing. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's close. Um, I think I have enough good cards that they have to discard that it's, like, pretty good. Um... And Martin was just like, yeah, I think you just understand fundamentally limited really well, especially this limited format. So I want to team with you. We ended up getting sex in Mexico City. We lost playing for top eight in game nine. Um, that was really heartbreaking. Um, still stings a little bit, because I know Martin would be really close to Worlds with one or two more pro points. And... Um... Yeah, like, Martin said you were great, and I'd love to team with you again, and Shay was just like, yeah, I think you're also awesome. I always had a blast playing with them. Like, they're two players that I respect very much. Like, Shuhei's in the Hall of Fame, and I think Martin's going to get there very soon. Later, Atomic. Sorry about your uh, fiasco there with the the silly fire truck in your neighborhood. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked to get to see with these guys again. They're, they're really awesome. <coughs> I consider myself really lucky. Um, let's get the Blood Crypts. Yeah, Blood Crypts. Oh, I guess I don't even need it. Yeah. No, let's get Steam Vents and this can get Basic Swamp Knight or a third Blue Delta. Alright, Jace. Time for you to take one for the team like you always do. Farewell, buddy. Down with the ship. How are you going to die this time? Hopefully it's to a path. Oh, you're getting dismembered? Jace, come on, man. You gotta deal more than two damage to them. You're supposed to be the best red card that ever existed. I played Trot and I even hate myself. Dear God, Corey, come on. Come on, man. You can like evil things and not be an evil person. 
Um, what do I want to do here? I expect my tasker to die. <coughs> I don't have any spells for these snapcasters. And I do really want to commit this tasker to the board still. Especially with my opponent on a man land. I don't think just, like, not playing anything is effective. I think it's, like, really bad to not play anything. Yeah, I'm gonna exile my whole graveyard here, I think. Uh, no, my opponent knows about the three cards on the left-hand side of my hand, so they know about the damnation of the two Snapcasters. <laughs> no, I have not seen the Titanic, Asia. It's embarrassing, I know. I'm the worst. I'm not even a human. <laughs> it wasn't really that bad, Corey. Rut row, spaghettios. Rut row. Hope I draw a fatal push. Or creeping tar pit. Rut row. to fetch right now so I don't get caught in a spot where I try to use my tasker and can't do it. Of nope, my damnation is in exile, so we're probably really screwed here. <coughs> so as I was saying earlier, damnation is much better in your graveyard than in your hand. So one of the important things with that Jace was I was hoping it would get past so we could damnation faster just to get into the graveyard. Because it's just also safe and fluffy in the graveyard. Oh dear god, this is bad. Literal cast out? Good god. Ugh. Ugh. Vomit. Okay. Hmm. Cryptic visions and Grixis Shadow. Uh, Meryl, I would honestly recommend whichever version you have the most experience with. <laughs> yeah, Delverino. In this version, it is a lot harder. Well, we're sure it's not, like, purely safe. Like, we even saw our opponent play three against his last game, but it is certainly much safer there in the graveyard than it is in our hand. Bolts. So can bolt thought not and block it. We definitely don't need this thought seeds. Matter is, do we need this kick command? The two mutables also come in. Eek! We go to one. Plays around as a static cash the best two, so it's likely their line of play. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to top this. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Master. Here we go. My bad, my bad, my bad. I do usually keep that open just so we can see what the heck's going on. And the fact there that it actually got you because I hadn't scrolled down. That's on me. I'm sorry. Alright, so this spells really bad news for us. My opponent's just willing to go to combat and attack and leave open a million mana. Like, they could have easily animated a good old and flashback souls or animated two minute vaults and flashback souls. Play Grixis Delver in peace. Would be great. Oh, they have another Lingering Souls. Yeah, I really hope I draw that as a Static Caster. It's not in my library. I would like to be able to cheat right now. I would be willing to take out any one of the other cards in my sideboard. Literally, almost. No, not actually at random. Never mind. I'd rather just lose. <laughs> I don't deserve it. Uh. So I can K command one, I can't even block one. Looks like we're Ripper Rooneyed. Maybe my opponent won't attack. 
Carries a longer photo than the for activation since it looked like Moto shortcut it. Um, I don't believe it actually records anything. Let's go back and look though. Pluto Delta activates Tassiger, Tasker Golden Fang, and then it says they choose Serum Visions. So they see Serum Visions is returned to my from the graveyard to my hand from the graveyard, but it doesn't say like these two cards were milled. God, you know how hot it is a static house would be right now? God, that'd be great. Alright, 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 you got me. You win. Sorry. <coughs> GG opponent. Yeah, Anger would have also been pretty good there. Ooh, ooh, crack chest for value. We gotta crack the chest, hold on. I've been cracking chess lately. It's been really fun. <laughs> Sealed product. Here we go. Alright, everyone's got a root for Richard in port, I think that's the most expensive thing. Yeah, there you go. Asia knows what's up. <laughs> lucky, lucky little bastard opened up a Richard in port for like 90 tickets. Master, I think it's like at least reasonable. I don't think it's a bad deck by any means. I like their configuration post board a lot. Huzzah! We get... Oh, the slow roll three items? Alright, we got a double rare. I don't think this character's worth a lot. It was sweet when it was in standard. See, this is a green card. Get behind. That's a green card. Oh, well, Wisher. We were never responsible adults. And I know that, Kappa. You know it. I'm 25 years old going on about eight. Let's, let's be realistic. So yeah, that was a little bit of a JVP modern action. Um, definitely punted the round to green white, and if our deck was configured correctly, we would have beaten that player. So let's fix that. Let's bring back our best friend. You never oh, we're in other products, we're not in cards. It's probably gonna be difficult to find it as a static caster and other products. Unless we go opening uh let's see, as it was the first set, so she's RTR. Once we go into RTR packs. Alright, my girl's home. She's gas. Um, that's not the update. Let's go to the update. Wait, maybe that is the update. No, it should be this one. Sorry, I've got to delete these monitor decks. If the tournament were tomorrow, I would register this. One counter scroll, one logic knot, and... Oops, sorry, I moved the commands into a different pile. I like to have this all file out in the same way each time, so it's easier for people that try to follow along with pictures, and they just compare the pictures back and forth. It's way easier to do that for everybody that's interested in what it is I'm doing. Um, also, if no, there's now a second flooded strand in the deck over the Sulphur Falls. Um, that is untested right now. The reason for the extra flooded strand is I wanted a tenth uh, card for Delve if I'm going back up to a fourth Delve spell. Um, and I'm a little hesitant to play the 4th Delve spell just because Graveyard Hate is becoming more common. Um, that being said, a lot of the decks that you want uh, your negate style effects against, you don't usually need... or the, Sorry, against the decks that you want your negate effects, they do not usually have the Graveyard Hate. Like, I can't negate a Leyline of the Void, which say Dredge plays or Jund plays. And those are matchups that I want my negate effects. Galaxy's Commander play, that's awesome. Hundred card legacy does sound gas. Like I think I would like Legacy a lot more if it was a hundred card singleton. <laughs> Is the sad caster so good you have to look into other product? Yeah, Logic Knot was something that Jerry Thompson, unsurprisingly, Jerry is one of the people that I get a lot of great suggestions for. Misty is greater than Strand. You are correct. We should have one of each. Good call. Cum laude. C -D C -W -A -L -U -M -D. C oh, God, I never know how to spell your, or pronounce your name. Oh, I have five Misty. I need to sell one of these. Qualmed? Qualmed. Qualmed. I'm calling you Qualmed. Do you have to tell me if that's wrong or not? 
I just called you cum laude. I know that's just horrifically wrong. Uh, Kara Beast, are you talking about the version that's on your screen right now? Or were you talking about the JVP version? I'll definitely answer that question before I take off. Come on, Jesus. No ill intent. That's not what we're going for. I said cum laude, but sure. Uh, so this version I actually greatly like against the Death Shadow decks, mostly because they deal so much damage to themselves, and it's actually not that tricky to, like... I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that it's not that tricky. Like, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands upon thousands of games of this deck, especially more so than most people. So, I'm not going to say that it's easy. Sorry, that's not true. But, it's something that if you know intricately how both the decks function... Like, it helps that most of my teammates just play Death Shadow. Seawall UMD. Seawallumd. Seawallumd. Seawallumd? Seawallumd. I'm gonna go with Seawallumd. Um, you can leverage knowing how their deck basically functions to figure out what cards are remaining in their hand, and when you can take a line, leveraging either their low mana draws or heavy mana draws, to counter their spell, or fight removal over their creatures, and then turn the tie by fighting bolts at their face. <coughs> um, this deck's also really effective with the cryptic commands when they're lower on, just like sticky threats. Uh, a lot of them all have either Renegade Ralliers, Lingering Souls, extra copies of, say, Dispel or Stubborn Denial on their sideboards. Um, that'll allow their creatures to be much more uh, densely protected on the boards, I guess the term I'll use. And once they turn into that, yes, this version is weaker to those decks than, say, the Jace Friends Prodigy version. Because the Jace Friends Prodigy version, it stresses their removal as well as their non-removal. This deck really only ever stresses their removal when you start K commanding them to discard cards and then you have a tar pit. <coughs> but this version is much better at burning them out, as you're much better at holding cards in your hand and just not worrying about their discard so much, because you top deck so well, given that you have 12 blue cantrips as opposed to 8. Uh, karate, mostly because I value the Lightning Bolt so highly at helping this deck finish the game. This deck's really ineffective at finishing the game, and especially against the Death Shadow decks. You can't realistically just sit there and grind with them forever, especially if they're on the Traverse and Colgon's Command package with, in addition, the blue cards. Ban Bolt. Yeah, Bolt's pretty stupid. I think Bolt's probably at its worst it's ever been in Modern. Like, it might just legitimately be not a very good card. And it's definitely something that if you were looking at the JVP version, there's actually three pushes and three Bolts. Because I'm not planning to burn somebody out. Like, I have the backup plan of just embling a Jace and beating you that way. Like, it unfortunately didn't come up today, probably because I screwed up one of the games against Green White. Um, but we could have decked them pretty easily, I think. Had we played better... If not, just killed all of their stuff and killed them also. But, um, back to this version really fast. Oh, god, it fixed all my sorting. Well, that's annoying. Alright, well, we'll just do this for now. Um, the deck's, like, much better at top decking. Like, you're not top decking creatures that get put on the board and then get killed, especially in game ones. Whereas in games two and three, where they're much easier able to protect their life total because they born down on street race and they board up on counter spells. Um, the games do get into these weird flash spots where both players are just super hesitant to ever tap their mana. Because if you ever tap your mana, your spell gets countered by a snapcaster, and then your opponent untaps and plays like three spells in their turn. You're just, you're just dead. Like, you just can't come back. Like, no one can actually uh, leverage their sorcery mana spells without first leveraging their instant mana spells. Unless one player is just so far behind on mana than the other. Um, that's at least how the Grixis versions play out. The Jund Death Shadow decks, you can realistically just run them out of threats. Like, I certainly bring in the Fatal Push and the Damnation out of my board in those matchups. Um, I think you can grind out the Jund versions, like, I'm not going to say reliably, but you can certainly do it. And I definitely shave on bolts a lot. Um, if I think that I can just outgrind my opponent. Like, if I think they're just on, like, a one or two Colgon's command, just straight, like, three, four Tar Fires and that I think they don't have enough sideboard cards, and like I know they don't have Ranger of Eos, and I know they don't have Lingering Souls or Renegade Rally or stuff of that nature, uh, then I'll be willing to grind with them, but you just usually don't have that kind of information, and I'd rather just kind of give them with Lightning Bolts. 
So with the Jason Lilies, would that be the type of shell that could run Visions in Yehenny's expertise? <laughs> What's up, Admiral? <coughs> Good call, Cadabra. Yeah, Bolt was definitely worse then. Um, you could. I don't know where you're going to find room for that, however, Del Rito. That is a good thought, though. I think one of the problems I have with it, though, is if Bolt is bad, what would make Yehenny's expertise really better? Like, yeah, you're killing all the creatures out of elves or any one of these weird company decks, but those decks are pretty effective at just rebuilding if you're not also clocking them really effectively with this card or counter spells. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm, I'm skeptical on the surface. But I think you could certainly do something like that. I like the idea of minus three, minus three, your team put a Liliana the Veil into play, or minus three, minus three, your team put a JVP into play. Sounds pretty sweet to me, honestly. You might have to get away from, like, the Tassigers, which would make me sad. Like, part of the reason to be playing the Thought Scours... I mean, well, the Thought Scours are absurd in this deck. Like, Thought Scours probably is the best card in this version, but... It's probably the second best card in the other version. Like, the reason to be playing Tassigers... To leverage your thought scours even harder. <coughs> uh, Flamingo Brown. Um, it depends what your goals are. Like, if you want to just play at FNM, then it's going to depend on, I guess, like the competitive level of the FNM that you're going to go play at. If you're just going to hang out and play with your buddies or do maybe drafts with your friends or stuff of that nature, like, if you're just going to play with your friends, then yeah, I would probably recommend. Uh, buying, like, even one of those uh, Planeswalker dual decks. Like, yeah, if you're going to play with more of your friends, I'd recommend just getting a deck right out of the box that you don't have to worry about uh, just rebuilding on the spot. It'll also just get you more into the feel of things again, and you'll be able to do your own thing. Then as soon as you start to feel out, like, hey, I like what, you know, my buddy's doing with this thing, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to combine it with some of the cards that I like. Uh, like, find the sort of synergies that you like and what you want to build, and then I would start buying the singles that you want to buy for those decks. I wouldn't just tell you to straight up go buy a deck. Um, the fat packs, I think, are a little more complicated in that... <coughs> um, like, yeah, it's going to give you... A, I believe it gives you 10 of each basic or 20 of each basic, maybe. I know they have those, like, land starter kits in there. Um, and you're going to get some packs. And it's certainly much more fun to open packs than not open packs. I mean, you see it every time that I stream I just crack literally every single chest that we get <laughs> um, mostly because I don't have any self control um, but yeah I think I would just recommend having a, a deck right out of the box that you can hang out and play with your buddies I think that's just easier for you um, now if you're somebody that really 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 loves the deck building aspect of it you probably will want the fat pack yeah, opening packs is just the best part, right? Because it's like anything could be in there. You never know. Oh, yeah, the, the fresh smell of cards, too, is also great. It, I'm actually one of those people, when they give us, uh, at Grand Prix, they will sometimes have the deck bot or the play mats in a little tube. Um, and getting to smell the fresh play mat right when it comes out. Like, for some reason, I enjoy that smell also, just like I enjoy the smell of, like, freshly cracked cards. So yeah, I, I definitely feel for you there. I, I think my recommendation to you... Oh, it's up, Flamingo Bro. Thanks for following. Flamingo Brown, excuse me. Thanks for following. But I, I would think I would recommend for you the... Just a Plains Walker deck for now, and then go from there. Yeah, of course, anytime. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. <coughs> Alright, but it's 6 o'clock, friends. I'm gonna peace out. I will be back sometime this week, as I do owe people a stream of some Grixis control with some Ancestral Visions and some Cryptic Commands. Um, God, that art's great. So we need to get our hourglasses out and just really vile our opponents to death with countering their spells, tapping their team, drawing cards, and bouncing all their horrible permanents. And don't worry, Beloved is a sad caster on hand, so we won't embarrass ourselves. Anything could be in there, even hot garbage. Yeah, Admiral. There could also just be, you know, like an Expedition Force of Will, or Invocation, or whatever they're called. Yeah, that's a... If you're into the deck-building portion of Flamingo Brown, like, if you buy a fat pack and then just you and your buddy either crack, like, three or six packs and just battle that way, that's also really fun. I like Wizard Adept's idea there. Oh, Admiral, I'm sorry. But, later on this week, 
You have to hold me to that. Harass me on Twitter if it comes to that. Are they really boring after a couple games? God, there were some that were so good, Wizard. There was one where it was either Jarvis Yu or Jake Mandelo. I forgot who walked up to me. Sat two of them in front of me. I think it was Jason Varaska, and said, which one are you playing? And we just sat there and grinded games of it at GP Toronto last year. It was awesome. Like We just sat there and played like five games. Just literally waiting for that next round. <laughs> Del Rio, yeah. It's not, it's not difficult to harass on, on Twitter. Most of us are just like, well, I got a message. I want to respond. <laughs> I'll like, hyper-attach to my phone. It literally sits right here. All right, but I do need to roll. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I will make this more of a, a common thing, I promise. Um, we, won't, we won't have, like, two streams a w or, like, a stream a week and then me disappear for three months. That won't happen. Um... But yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out. Hopefully you had some fun and you didn't have to watch any Marvel Mirrors and the top eight of Grand Prix or Brad Wilt Nelson win his 15th standard Grand Prix with Marvel. Congrats to him. Crushing it as always. Brad's too good. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Post the list on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I can make that happen. Uh, let me get some things on and I'll definitely post them up on Twitter though. Thank you guys. Appreciate it again. Everybody have a good night. Thankfully the mic thing's all figured out. <laughs> All right, night everybody.